2020 election and JDA was like, fuck, this shit doesn't matter. <laughs>
Box and consoles. Lord Vader, this is an unexpected pleasure. We're honored by your presence. You may dispense with the pleasantries, Commander. I'm here to put you back on schedule. Spectre, over. What? Flight 209 or clear for Vector 324. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Our radio You mean like the duck himself, I guess? <laughs> they the Duke. Duck, I says. Roger, ready to taxi. Over. G minus. Permit good for two hours. Thank you. Yes, well, next. You What's the fastest animal on earth? Blood. The I'm cheetah. Next. Should I fake my orgasms? Yes. Thank you. Next. I get some new day from the land of the bombs you feel are asteroids smashing into the hull of this ship. Also, what about you guys? We ain't found shit. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Oh. Try and calm him down. For God's sake, be diplomatic. Give him the lead. Or bottom, or a top off. Versatile love may have some butt stuff. What was that from? That that Bill Nye the Science Guy thing? Shit. That's correct. Oh, man. The pre-launch that they did of uh, Bill, Bill Nye the Science Guy on Netflix, if I remember correctly. Striker, 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 striker! Man. Striker. I had to think when I was a kid, I used to think Bill Nye the Science Guy was just a normal striker. person. That's right. Nope. Exactly. Look, this shouldn't so be weird. Hymer, so you know, what I. we did was totally natural. Like, the wind, or not trusting Canadians. That's disgusting! I can't believe those fuckers sold me dirty underwear! Your drug use is becoming indiscriminate. I won't do crack without heroin. Come here. And deploy the fleet. So that nothing gets off the system. You are in command now, Admiral Yet. Thank you, Lord Vader. <laughs> we have no tower, sir. No tower. Just a bridge, sir. Why the hell aren't I notified about these things? Bali <laughs> Jarado, Bali Jarado. Silly. It's not even a listed substance. It's just medication for my rapid cycling bipolar disorder. Stop it. Get some help. He fell out of a Gestapo car over a bridge onto a railway line and was run over by the Berlin Express. <laughs> It was, was a tragedy. <laughs> it was a tragedy. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. It's a fake. He chose poorly. Have a little game. 
Follow my leader. Follow my leader. 17 days. Hey, man, I don't want to rain on your parade. We're not going to last 17 hours. By all that you hold dear, on this Old Bill Hicks. Earth, I bid you son, man of the West! What the hell? Would be an interesting. Mind Fender, did you ever watch Black Adder? Yes, I did. Black Adder was phenomenal. Read, the, read it. Read the card. Watched Laura. a lot of Faulty Towers as well. And are you being? Served? Hey, I just called you. I sounded crazy, but here's my number, so call me Cindy. He fucking my wife. Ensign, but shut up, Wesley. Yeah. Yeah. The I'll tell you what you get. The police. Get what you fucking deserve. Keep firing, assholes. James, I'm getting away with murder, and you're just jealous. Unless I have to, you hear me? All right, drop your guns and kick them over here. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever seen anyone flush a toilet with their face. Never get that drunk shit. for anyone. The colonel told me you arrived from Nancy's this morning. Yes, he's quite right. Is yes. that where you and Rene were born? Yes, we were both Nancy boys. <laughs> Look, I used to watch Jeopardy every day because I had a major lady rod for Alex Trebek. Until I found out he was Canadian. Gross. Almost all of them that we see are so poor and they are so black, and this is going to raise lots of questions for people who. Our Native American friends, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey! <laughs> oh, ooh, man, you should see what but happens in Florida with you. Oh, my goodness. I, I want to be clear in how People I... People do not know how to stop. So and if you're on a motorcycle and hit here, uh, ooh, it boy. Not, uh, it is not, generally speaking, unruly. But fires have been started. The fires have been started as an entire business is burning next to him. We're leaving. Strange game. The only winning mood is not to play. I definitely recommend Virginia. Event Horizon. <laughs> yeah, Event Horizon is legitimately one of the better cosmic horror movies because they don't explain it. They leave it alone. Yep, you don't have to explain the pits of hell out there in space. Like, nope. Legitimately, it's one of the reasons why I love that movie so much. We're never <clears> given <throat> an explanation as to why this ship drifted into the depths of hell or why it came back out uh it would be nice if we had our uh, resident crowd here for this one but uh he says he might pop in later he's he's off on a walk which is code for he's fucking another <laughs> fatty well <laughs> stop talking you're ruining overplayed interest <laughs> <laughs> it's far too late mm. far too late now Will Smith is the super cuck of Hollywood. Yes, he is. Alternative history. This is going to get weird. Yes, it will. <gasps> we, we must give Will Smith oh, more beer. Jack Murphy beard. Hey! <laughs> yes. But give Will yes. Smith more Jack Murphy beard. Yes. You rolled off your fatty long enough to join us. Thank you. <laughs> it's too warm for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <sighs> I'm uh, here for history correction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and not he does not mean what? histrionic correction so this is not, not uh, everything it's an overwrought explanation 
hold no mystery at, at all in modern fiction is cancerous. Exactly. Yeah. That's I, that's yeah. one of the reasons why I again, I'm like fun. we said last stream, you know, just last night. Fuck yeah. you, Ridley Scott. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Fuck you, Ridley yeah, Scott. we don't need the explanation for half the shit that goes on. We just need the creepy monster stalking the people. Oop. Yeah, exactly. And I, I say this as someone who is a creative and who has an explanation in his universe for everything. That doesn't mean I'm going to show all those explanations to the fucking reader, though. Because it ruins the element of horror. It's like, oh, God, you fucking idiots. Don't do that. It's more terrifying when the thing is unknown, period. Or you oh. just have the bare minimum. And then you can speculate all you want. That's exactly it. Like, look, that's one of the reasons why the Joker's origin was never consistent. Because they didn't want to tell exactly how he came about. Macaulay Culkin cast as Adolf in Valkyrie. That would be funny. I would enjoy <laughs> that. That would be a really good fucking parody, man. Make a... Oh, God, who would you... Who would you replace Tom Cruise with for a Valkyrie parody? Oh, jeez. Like Jaws. Yes, exactly. We're never given an explanation as to why that shark is as vicious or as large as it is. It simply is, and it eats people. You know how <laughs> I got these scars? Yeah, I, I actually legitimately like that. As dark as that Joker is, the Heath Ledger Joker is compelling for that one that is one of the very reasons because he doesn't tell you the story he just tells you a fib and each time he tells you a different version of the fib because ultimately his origin story doesn't matter he is the elemental evil as he's supposed to be all right before we lose any more viewers by talking about comics <laughs> Oh, God, man. Polly Shore replacing Tom Cruise would be outstanding. I can just picture it now. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Fuck me. Andy Dick would have to be his sidekick. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, it's just, it is what it is. Andy Dick has to be his sidekick at that point. You put Andy Dick as the female lead in a, like a wig and shit. Oh, my God. I die laughing. Okay, are we no. ready? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you know and of course it's about the Second World War because virtually all uh, alternate history things are. It is. It is. It is the year 1939. The world is restless. In March, Czechoslovakia was dissolved and annexed by Germany. Yes. <laughs> Japan and China have been at war since 1937. The civil war in Spain ended with the victory of Franco and his Spanish nationalists. The British Empire is still a first-rate world power. Chamberlain is the British Prime Minister. Hitler rose to power in 1933. Yes. Mussolini rules Italy. Si. Germany and Italy have signed the Rome-Berlin Axis, a military alliance. Roosevelt is the American president. The United States of America is recovering from the Great Depression. Stalin is reorganizing the Red Army after the 1937 purges. Poland and Germany are butting heads. The Germans claim the city of Danzig. We are at the gates of the Second World War. Nazi Germany and the Communist Soviet Union are political opposites. Hitler says that Lebensraum, the Germans' vital living space. Okay, my first criticism. They are not political opposites. No, they're they're nearly identical in yeah. fact. It's, but this uh, is the lie that won't die. You know. Yeah, this is actually one of the problems that I have with most leftists. They're incapable of telling the truth about history. Nazis were socialists. <laughs> the fuck is this learning? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we're we're doing some we're we're we're, we're doing some. Gay, sh gay nerd shit today, unfortunately, Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> like, legitimately. And I, Lassie said it. Like, believe it or not, Lassie, you're the only other person I've ever talked to who fucking shares that view. Really? I wish I was joking. Oh my God. <laughs> like, 
outside of the people I've met within Comics Gate and like hung out with here, I have never talked to anyone other than you <laughs> who holds that view that uh, just objectively speaking, they were socialists. They could not therefore be right leaning. <clears throat> the Englishman doesn't like World War II history, huh? Color meat surprise. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we're doing some edification. Mm. Yes, we're going to edify our anuses today and not with Liam's penis because it won't fit. It's too small. This is in the East. Stalin never hides his expansionist policies towards the West. But on August the 23rd, 1939, Germany and the Soviet Union signed the molotov ribbentrop Act, a non-aggression treaty. The treaty is received with disappointment. It has Molotov in the name. Some I months already love it. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yes, the National Socialist German Workers Party. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I am back at school again. All learned in American history was World War One and Two. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Legitimately, I wish they had taught us more about history than World War One and Two, because I had to learn about the Tuskegee experiments on my fucking own, and I didn't learn them until uh, my early 20s. Dude, the Tuskegee experiments were fucked up. Just saying. Mm -hmm. You know, I also remember, I think in school they covered the Cuban Missile Crisis at one point. But yeah, they didn't Russian really go in depth about a lot of stuff, America. even back in my day. No, it certainly didn't, but it's uh, <laughs> it's it's comparable for sure. You need an electron microscope to find Liam's penis. Yeah, accurate. I hold your view on Nazis being basically the same as the Soviets. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, you do, Jeff. Cool. Oh, yeah, fair. Like. It, 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 I it break the moment enough. to figure out what that meant. <laughs> yeah, no, it just it took me a moment to realize what he was referring to because I, I was like, oh, Jesus, yeah. No, it, it's, it always baffled me that so few people hold, held that view. Hold or held, depending on whether they still hold it or not, obviously. But uh, yeah, no, I'm glad someone does, other than Alassie. Like, panel aside, like, uh, Fiona, like, what's your view on it? Do you think they're largely similar, if not identical? Well, they're definitely a lot of people keep saying the Nazis were like far right. It's like, no, I think the Nazis were far more far left. They yes. were. It's, that's um, precisely it. That's not quite as far as the commies, but it's close. <laughs> well, now, uh, just, just the more I looked on on my own, I mean, because I kept thinking it's like, well, since Nazi doesn't really mean anything anymore, thanks to social media and whatnot, it's like, might as well just look on it on my own. Well, even, you know, modern neo-Nazis are essentially leftists. I mean, they may or may not vote for people like Trump or whoever, but you listen to the policies they want, and they want single-payer health care. Just they want it for whites only. Yeah. That, <laughs> it's just exactly, racist collectivists. That's exactly the problem that I have with it as well. They're just as racist as the left. They're just racist about different things. No, actually, that's inaccurate. I shouldn't give them credit like that. That's entirely inaccurate. They're racist about the same things. The left just pretend they're not. That's that's the difference between them. We had to learn about Disraeli. Barring. Directed economy versus planned economy. Yeah, very certainly. Can we learn about the Vietnam War next time? Dude, yes. I'd love to learn yes, about the can. Vietnam War. I legitimately know nothing about it. All Mexican cat boys are far left. That, those are just facts. Yes, they are. Let's <laughs> see. Yes, they are. Japan and Germany signed the, the anti communist pact. What? Cat what? girls, on the other hand, are based and right. Ah. A pact against the communist Soviet Union. And now, while Japan is fighting the Soviets in Manchuria, Germany signs a pact with the Soviets. This is an affront to Japanese prestige. Relationships between Germany and Japan begin to cool down. September the 1st, Germany invades Poland. The Second World War begins. 
the British Empire and France declare war on Germany. September the 4th, Japan announces its neutrality. They already have their own war in China. Due to this war, the United States adopted trade restrictions with Japan. The American uh, it's starting right now. <laughs> American embargo creates large troubles for Japan. Japan is a rival for America's plan of economic expansion into the Pacific area. <laughs> you know, I, I'm glad I really never got thing with that guy. Like, it even became remotely interested. Just too focused on most of my writing, really. It's like, <laughs> Jesus. The war in Europe is raging. In March, Germany invades Denmark and Norway. Then in June, invades Belgium, the Netherlands, and defeats France, one after another. Winston Churchill becomes Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Italy enters the war on the German side. The war in Africa begins. In the Atlantic, the British convoys suffer heavy losses from German U-boats. Heavy losses from German U-boats. The Nazis were trying to keep uh, the Jews out of the Nazis war. Were trying to keep the Jews out of the war, so they put them uh, away from the war. They starved them to death when the Allies got closer to defeating them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've I've said before, it's like probably a lot of the Jews that died in the camps died because we. The Allies crippled the German supply lines. So they well, no, it, that's them. precisely it. Uh, the uh, when the Allies began invading, a lot of the supply lines were cut, and they began cutting back on food and all that shit. Only the soldiers were being fed eventually. So the natural consequence was that, because even let's be clear, even a lot of the the German soldiers were malnourished. Mm. Um. So if you go back and you look at it, and if you also consider that many of the people in the camps had sicknesses, they had to destroy the bodies. Yeah. Like functionally speaking, typhoid doesn't go away just because you did. Just because you DED, typhoid, typhus doesn't just fucking disappear. You actually have to dispose of the body. So there was a rational reason for the destruction of corpses. There was a lot of disease within those camps, and it's a often ignored fact of history, and it frustrates the shit out of me. Uh, well, these are inconvenient truths. <laughs> right? Are there I UFOs? Hope so. uh, no, I hope no, so, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, UFOs, dude. I don't, I don't think this one covers the, uh, the uh, well, what the fuck were they called? The Foo Fighters. Yeah. yeah. Luftwaffe is massively bombing Britain. The RAF bombs several German cities. Uh, isn't it Luftwaffe? Like, is he pronouncing that wrong? Probably. I helmet, think. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Helmet, mm -hmm. is it Lutva Lut Luftwaffe or is it Luftwaffe? Luftwaffe. Va okay, so he did get it correct. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Yes. Thank you. I, I have to ask. That sounds like a fancy way to say waffles. <laughs> Yay. I'm glad he actually did his research on how to pronounce the word then, though he couldn't get many facts correct, apparently. Uh, like I said, I really wish that they sold that uh, Hitler ice cream in America, but it's only available in India. I'd really like to try a Luftwafer. No Nazi UFOs. <laughs> no Nazi UFOs in New Scotland in Antarctica. We don't know. <laughs> Do not sign this Axis Pact. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone uh, knows the Nazis are on the dark side of the moon. And they are riding dinosaurs. Yes, yes, they are. Oh, man. What was that movie that uh, I think? Iron Sky. <sighs> yes. Thank you, Iron Sky. I couldn't yes. remember its name. Space so the Spaceship Hitler. Yeah. I mean. Uh. Alien. Yeah, the, the Haunabu uh, uh, UFO aircraft are uh, uh, legit. They existed, but um, they were in the um, early stadium. That's not oh. uh, alternate hi history. They oh, were kind of cool. some kind of hovercraft uh, air pods who looked a bit like UFOs. Yeah, 
Uh, I got uh, a three D rendering of one here, actually. Brave. Yeah, they, they were called Haunebu. That's one of them right there. That's a three D rendering of one. That's not specifically a, a finished version. It is a three D yeah. rendering of yeah. what a finished version would have looked like. Mm. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> Nazi UFOs. Were, <laughs> yeah. What if the e music? Counterattack has conquered Australia. Oh. Powered by Vril. Instead of lizard people, <laughs> it's emu people. Emus are people. <laughs> I want Helmet, you have to explain that one because I can't stop laughing. What? Oh no. What do okay. you mean? Oh god. So It's a uh, uh, it's a literary reference. The power by Vril. Can German try to sound more like Arnold and say "screw your freedoms"? Yes, do it. <laughs> I'm not a dirty Austrian. I'm a German. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you! I'm not a degenerate from Austria. <laughs> fuck Austria. <laughs> to have the creator exist, the emus ally with the Japanese in World War II. Absolutely. <laughs> And then after the Japanese abandoned them, they were forced to team up with the ostriches. And the emu war of the second emu war of Australia is going to happen. Because the ostriches are getting involved. Oh God. And oh oh crikey, they don't have enough guns over there. <laughs> yeah. Forty. Japan does not sign the Axis Pact. Indeed, japan axis relations were never that close. Apart from the establishment of technical commissions and some diplomatic relations, there was never any significant type of coordination or military aid between Japan and the Axis. Yeah, 1941. that's why those douchebags uh, went to Pearl Harbor without communicating with Germany and Italy, those idiots. Yeah, it's legitimately, if they hadn't gotten the U.S. involved, uh, I suspect World War II would have gone a completely different direction. But the Japanese decided, fuck it, let's awaken the sleeping giant, and went at America. <laughs> War continues down the path we all know. After a pro-British coup, the Axis invades Yugoslavia and then Greece. March 1941. The United States President Roosevelt signs the Lend-Lease Act, allowing Britain, China, and the Soviet Union to purchase military equipment and to defer payments. June the 22nd, 1941. Operation Barbarossa. Germany attacks the Soviet Union. Again, the Germans fail to inform Japan before. Prime Minister Furimaro Kanoi feels betrayed. The Germans clearly trust Japan very little. August the 1st, 1941, the turning point. The Japanese start the occupation of French Indochina, claiming they need to stop all imports into China, including war supplies from the US. Indochina is controlled by Vichy France. Despite Vichy France not being officially part of the Axis, they have strong ties with Germany. August the 6th, the German government heavily protests and sends an ultimatum, retire or there will be serious diplomatic consequences. Japan doesn't lose time. On the same day, Japan declares war on Germany, France, and Italy, becoming a de facto British and Soviet ally. Navy has the order to sink all the German cruisers in the area. The Italian base of Tianjin in China is occupied. Hitler and Mussolini are surprised, but they didn't have not considered Japan as an ally since 1940. The declaration of war on the Axis was a good strategic move. Japan has little to gain from an alliance with the Axis. Europe is far away. Germany and Italy can't help Japan, apart from maybe a naval squadron and the Axis can, in no way, damage Japan. 
this war could be a way to circumvent the embargo and obtain from the I British Empire at option. least some of the resources comes available. Oopsie. Resources vital for their industries. Last but not least, the Soviets are now allies. The Japanese experienced Soviet firepower at Nomanheim, and now they don't want nothing to do. Churchill just doesn't say, enthusiastically and now they don't want nothing to do with it. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure that the people who put this together are English as a second language. Okay, that's acceptable because. then. If this is English as a second language, then this is acceptable to me. I, I do not expect. But this whole video, though, is them taking a different path from regular history or something? Yes. Yes. wonder who they're going to have Japan ally with this time around. They just that's said. Did you listening? Only partially. I'm also writing. Ah. Uh, Japan has declared war on the Axis and become a de facto ally of Britain and the Soviets. I guess they'll have to use Hawaii for different means now. <laughs> pursue this alliance compared to the alliance with the Soviets, but they are not in a position to refuse such an ally. The Germans are doing all they want everywhere in Europe. The United States of America are isolationists, and who knows when and if they will enter the war. They will fight with Japan as they did in World War I. In the following days, the British 18th Infantry Division and the Australian 8th Division invade South Vietnam. The British have already invaded various oh no, the colonies. Have landed. The, Evus have landed. <laughs> the entrance of Japan does not change too much in the European battlefield. September 1941, the Siege of Leningrad begins. German forces start the offensive. Uh, I can't answer that because I haven't actually, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with the Man in the High Castle. Is this the Man in the High Castle timeline? I mean, I actually haven't watched the Man in the High Castle, so I can't comment. It sounds like it might be similar, though, because I have read a, read a synopsis for Man in the High Castle. It's, I wouldn't be surprised if the person that made this is, when was this video made? Uh, but it, well, it was made in different parts, I think, over the last five years, something like that. Okay. Uh, approximately when did it release? Don't know. <laughs> it's not. But The Man in the High Castle is a book, and it's been around for decades or something. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this video. When was it released? Oh, this video? About a year ago. So it's quite new. It's Relatively. it's possible. It's very possible that this person watched Man in the High Castle and made his own sort of like fan fiction regarding well, it. What what is the what's the synopsis for Man in the High Castle? I will be, uh do you want me to read it cuz uh I haven't read it in quite a while. Oh, okay. Well. Now if you if you can't give like a, a super quick summary then don't bother I guess. No, no, because like I said, I've only read the synopsis. I've no, Man in the High Castle was based on American loss and an Axis victory. Ah, okay. So, no, th then, this is this is not the Man in the High Castle timeline. Okay, so, it, oh, fair enough. Yeah, that's okay. fair. It's I'm have against Moscow, it point, Operation Typhoon. The Japanese involvement in the European conflict is limited. They control the Pacific and Indian Ocean. November the 19th, 1941. The auxiliary cruiser Cormorant is the first German Navy ship sunk by the Japanese off the coast of Western Australia. A small naval squadron of Namikaze, Shoakaze, and some mine layers are sent to the Mediterranean. A more important force with the old Issei and Otago class cruisers are sent to the Atlantic. During 1942, Japan will send a couple of brigades to Egypt. But most importantly, the British can move their Pacific fleet. The HMS Hermes aircraft carrier, four battleships, and 20 cruisers into the Atlantic. The British convoys are now far more protected. All Australian, New Zealand, and Indian forces available are sent into Egypt. With the arrival in the Mediterranean Sea of the heavy cruisers HMS Dorkshire and the HMS Cornwall, the Italians have increasing difficulties to resupply their forces in Libya. Rommel and the Italians are now on the defensive end. To make things worse, the British have broken the Italian code, and know the times of departure of every convoy, as well as all troop hmm. movements, so with fewer divisions, they can keep up to the axis. 
However, the Japanese resupply problems are still present. One million barrels of oil arrived from the Dutch East Indies, something else from the British refinery of Abadan, but it's not enough. For the USA, Japan is still an enemy. The USA embargo becomes even more strict. All Japanese assets in the US are frozen. On August 1st, US is takes place in the 1960s, long after the war, when the USA is firmly under Axis control. That's Isn't that the same time frame for um, the setting of Fatherland with Rutger Hauer? It's been so long since I watched Fatherland, I don't remember. I think it's either the 60s or the 70s. Well, it's, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't comment on that one. It's been too long. Establish an embargo on oil exports to Japan. More than 80% of Japan's oil came from the United States. The Japanese Navy has now less than two years of oil remaining. The Imperial General Headquarters begin planning for a war with the USA. And even though it's uh, not necessary, I will still uh, speak of Stefan Molyneux's foolishness on this subject. Oh, God. When, he, had, meme. when he talked... But, you know, I mean, this was long ago when he was still on YouTube and everything. Uh, when he talked about World War II, um, I don't know why he had so much sympathy for the Japanese, but he definitely did. And one of the things that he complained about was America putting a, a trade embargo on Japan and acted like that was provocation for war. And it's like, no, it's not. You know, I, and I don't know whether he was like getting confused in his head between the difference between embargo and blockade i mean yeah if we carried out a naval blockade of japan and kept them from trading with anyone then yeah that's a provocation for war but just saying we're not going to do business with you because you're slaughtering a bunch of people in china we don't want you know to help you that's not a provocation for war <laughs> no it's not <laughs> yeah but He's an apologist for a 25. lot of it, so I mean, it's hard to take Molly memes seriously. 5th of September, British and Soviet troops invade Iran. The USA protests. Part of the American industry, Henry Ford first, pressed the government to sell weapons to the Axis, too. December 26th, 1941. The Japanese take the decision. A From Japanese naval Japanese. force of six <laughs> aircraft carriers under the command of Nagumo depart from the Kareli Islands and arrives undetected near Hawaii. December 7th, the Japanese launches the attack on Pearl Harbor. The attack leaves eight American battleships out of action, killing 2,400 men. December 8th, the United States declares war on Japan, and only on Japan. I did not see the point of that animation, <laughs> but it's hilarious. Well, it's the lame. Imperial Japanese dragon against the American eagle. Yeah. But America, just, fuck yeah. This, <laughs> is, this stream is big for all Liam kind. Uh, yes. There is consternation at London for the move of their ally. They did not know of the Space Force. British Let's diplomats on, hurry up to ensure US they are not going to make any type of hostile Explore. action against the USA. But they can't <laughs> renounce the alliance with Japan. At this point, USA will never enter the war at their side and UK redeployed almost all their forces to Europe. So now Japan could really wipe out all British presence in the Far East in some weeks, from Hong Kong to Burma to Singapore, and seriously threatening India and Australia. But yes, December but what 12th, about the nukes? Japanese land on the southern nukes Philippine island. Things. What? The, but what about when they get to the nuclear weapons part of the, the, the uh, presentation? Well, I wonder who's gonna nuke who in this scenario. After a brief invasion, Thailand enters the war at the Japanese side. December 23rd, Japanese invade Wake Island. Manila is captured. No war with the British, so the Japanese can use all their forces against the USA. Japan appears to be unstoppable. 
British Royal Navy has the strict order to avoid any type of action against the US Navy. However, they are fighting along the Japanese in the Seven Seas, and an incident is only a matter of time. December 31st, near Iceland, the destroyer USS Reuben James is torpedoed by a Japanese submarine based on Scapa Flow, Scotland, killing more than 100 sailors. Tension heightens between the USA and UK as a result. British offer apologies to the American government. January 11th, American B-25s sink a Japanese oil tanker in British waters near Nassau, the Bahamas. February 5th, Roosevelt promises aid to all the enemies of Japan, asking Congress to sell materials to Germany and Italy, although without Lend-Lease. Hitler and Mussolini make overtures to the US government. U-boat campaigns in the Atlantic is limited. Only British Navy and British waters are attacked. February 9th, the British Navy forced an American convoy directed to Sweden to go back. February 20th, the I'm confused. How is this related with Liam? <laughs> he, has, he has ancestors in the grand struggle of World War II. Yes. On which side, we're not sure. But, <laughs> but we like suspect EU involvement. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like the Australians in World War II, uh, Liam is full of shit now. <laughs> that's, uh... That's uh, that's a trick question, Mr. Yonafui. Everything is related to Liam. All history points back to Liam. <laughs> Fire your producer. <laughs> Boy incident. A Japanese destroyer that, who is we escorting a British you. convoy <laughs> east of the Gilbert Islands is sunk by a USA naval force, including the USS Phoenix. The British merchant ships, after its passengers are allowed 30 minutes to board lifeboats, are sunk. February 22nd, 1942. Great Britain declares war on USA. The world war starts now. There are immediately the first clashes in the Atlantic between the U.S. and Royal Navy. Swordfish aircraft from the HMS Furious sink two American destroyers near Newfoundland. The USS Roper sinks a British submarine. Despite some British believing it's time to recolonize, Churchill declared war on the USA only because he thinks it's inevitable. Britain oh can't God. allow a gigantic flow of U.S. supplies, I weapons, and oil. I can't hear the oil. word Roper and not immediately go to anime rape. <laughs> it's, for those of you that don't know what a Roper is, because you're not a and d fag like me, um, a Roper is basically a giant, um, a giant pole-like crustacean with a shitload of tentacles. Oh my! Yeah. Liam, so the every time I hear yeah, someone, yeah, he effectively has, hasn't he? <laughs> Yes, Liam has indeed declared war on America. We got to fight him, Australian style. <laughs> Liam is the king. Yes. America is harboring the enemy of Liam, Nasser Rivati. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is true. North America must burn. ...to arrive in Europe. And better to fight the USA now, when the U.S. Army has not reached its full it, it, it's potential. Also in history, Churchill hopes they that have to, they will have to contend with the the uh, added Florida Man effect. <laughs> Even in this timeline, Florida Man is dangerous. That the war will result in a long stalemate, making war unpopular in the United States, followed by a negotiated peace. Australia and South Africa announce that they will continue to fight at the British side, although they will not officially declare war with the United States. There are riots in India, as the USA is a hope for their long-desired independence. Oh, Petit Revolution. What? <laughs> Apu does a revolution. <laughs> Canada immediately declares its neutrality in this war. The USA asks to occupy the ports of Halifax, Vancouver, and Newfoundland until the war ends. Canada can't permit such a request. 
February 27th, 1942, American troops start the invasion of Canada. The Americans follow a plan called War Plan Red. The first U.S. Army lands at St. Margaret's Bay, then assaults the port of Halifax. The Canadian power plants near Niagara Falls, held by the Royal Canadian Regiment, are taken after a bloody battle of three days. <laughs> this is followed by an invasion on three. Well, uh, you know, that would have been nice, but... <laughs> Canada allies with the States, led by a short, fat baker called <laughs> Ein Faggart. Then you supply bread to America. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Annex the fuckers. Typical Canada. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what? I actually agree <laughs> with annexation of Canada. We should be a vassal of the United States, period. <laughs> Do it. Bring it. I want it. <laughs> From Vermont to take Montreal and Quebec. Republic, the From the Midwest to capture the strategic nickel mines of Ontario. And from North Dakota to seize Winnipeg. Winnipeg is taken after two weeks. Vancouver is easily taken. It denies Britain and Japan a naval base and cuts Canada off from the Pacific Ocean. Canadians have a defense plan, the defense scheme number one. They plan to rapidly occupy Which, Seattle, Great Falls, Minneapolis, the and Albany. Our mounted brigades. Bruce is ahoy! Woo! Mm. No hope of holding the objectives. The idea is to divert American troops away from Canada long enough for the British to arrive with reinforcements. <laughs> this plan fails almost immediately, or better, it does not start at all. And the reinforcements from Britain will never arrive, apart from two squadrons of hurricanes. Britain knows it's impossible to defend Canada against the much larger United States. And they have other more urgent problems, like oh, Germany the US down went, there. Uh, to war over the British syrup. Oh no. Army is not the Red Army. Their resources are limited. The Canadians are alone. And after some initial success, the U.S. invasion is stopped. The U.S. Army fails to take Halifax. They only occupy New Brunswick, cutting Nova Scotia off from the rest of Canada at the railway junction in Moncton. The U.S. Army is stopped at the gates of Montreal and Toronto. Are we Canadians are experienced military. History then. Since the U.S. and Canada are shooting at each other, we're in the fallout timeline. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't have the mechanized uh, battle suits. <laughs> my power armor, damn it. Better armed and can take more advantage out of their terrain. Someone sees parallels with the Soviet Finland winter war. The USA Army is not ready for the war in 1942. Obsolete equipment, poor training, and a lack of experienced officers. Very few saw combat of any kind. The USA has no real tank force. The primary tank is the M3 Lee, a tank with a very limited 75mm gun, smooth tracks, and an impractical high profile. It can be killed from almost anywhere and in any kind of terrain. The B-24 is yet in service, but with low numbers, and there are the B-17s. The USAAF's best fighters are the P-40 Tomahawk and the P-39 Aero Cobra. The P-38 is already operational. The US Navy's battleships were never tested in war, except for their diving ability at Pearl Harbor. Hitler and Mussolini are pleased for the entry into the war of the USA. Hitler does not take the Americans too seriously, but apart from the stop of the Lend-Lease, he hopes that the US will distract the important British force away from Europe. Europe, 1942, Eastern Front. The Soviet winter counter-offensive pushes the freezing German army back 100 kilometers from Moscow. The front stabilizes. The siege of Leningrad continues. Part of the British Navy leaves the Mediterranean to fight in the new Atlantic front. Royal Navy air carriers Hermes, Penelope, Repulse, and the battleship Prince of Wales are deployed in the Far East, but far from the It seems like they think the Brits the primary offensive in the Western Northern in this particular yeah. alternate history. Yeah, but do the Jews still get dot 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 dot, dot gassed? <laughs> <laughs> Have to wait and see. Atlantic, the American Navy tried to block British Canadian traffic, 
where, but they do not attempt to openly face the British fleet, nor for the moment send soldiers or materials into Europe. The Royal Navy is still the strongest navy in the world. There are the first collaborations with the Germans. German U-boats in the St. Lawrence Bay sunk several merchant ships. US public opinion, after some differences, will attempt to fight at the Hitler side, as in our timeline they accepted to fight for Stalin. Pacific Ocean, 11th of March. The Japanese land on Mindanao. April 31st, MacArthur evacuates the Philippines. 2nd of May, 1942. Japanese land forces invade Indonesia, fearing a similar action by the Americans. The Dutch government in exile of London can't do anything. There are weak protests from London. The Dutch are allowed to continue to administer Indonesia. The Dutch East Indies alleviate part of the oil problem to the Japanese Navy. 4th to the 8th of May, 1942. Japanese forces under Admiral Shima make unopposed landings on Samoa, opening the Battle of the South Pacific, the first battle in which aircraft carriers engage each other. The US sinks the Japanese light carrier Shoho. The US lose their fleet carrier Lexington and the Yorktown is damaged. Japan begins the invasion of the, of the Aleutian Islands. Japanese midget subs based in the Canadian port Prince Rupert sink a support ship in Alaska. British Navy bombs the US coastal bases Portland, Boston, Norfolk, Savannah, Charleston. That's all the 19th of June. Operation Jubilee. State US. You'll never leave the colonies again. <laughs> a raid by British and Canadian forces with 20 Mark IV Churchill tanks on Portland, Maine, ends in disaster. They come under heavy gunfire and most are killed or captured by the American defenders. British bombers short S-29 Sterling based in Toronto bomb the US industrial Midwest, including Detroit, Pittsburgh and Chicago. The British try to inflict as much damage as possible to the US industrial forces but this would require constant and heavy attacks. It took years and years of bombing to put down the German industry, which is only a quarter of the US industry. The British attacks are pinpricks. The land lease has been stopped, and it was almost 10% of the British effort and around 7% of the Soviet effort. Africa. The British army in Egypt is weakened since Australians and Canadians have returned home and the Indian troops are now unreliable and after the redeployment of the British fleet in the Atlantic, the Italians have better supplied forces. <laughs> Rommel is ready for a new offensive, turns his troops to Kazala and destroys the British 1st and 7th Armoured Division. 21st of July, like everybody one with each other, huzzah! 150 kilometers from Alexandria falls to Axis. Japan's leaders hope that after Pearl Harbor, the United States would negotiate a compromise rather than a long war. Things are going differently. The Imperial Navy try another blow. They plan to take Midway in a rush before American reinforcements could arrive. 4th of June 1942, Admiral Nagumo orders the aircraft to attack Midway. The Battle of Midway opens. The Battle of Midway will be almost the same as in our timeline. The US has broken the Imperial Navy's code and know practically everything that the Japanese are going to do. The British do not participate in this battle, nor generally to the Meanwhile, Japanese effort the against South the USA. Pacific. The Emus are <laughs> lasting their own fleet. To help their Lord Emperor leave. <laughs> yeah. While the ostriches bide their time and say, this is not the hill to die on. <laughs> because they do not want to help Japan build their own empire in Asia. However, due to the absence of a British threat, probably things would have been slightly better for the Japanese. Nimitz has positioned his three aircraft carriers to ambush the Japanese. The dive bombers from Yorktown and Enterprise sunk the carriers Kaga, Hiryu and Soryu. The Japanese sunk the carriers Yorktown and the Hornet. The Battle of Midway comes to a close. Nogumo cancels the Midway invasion. 
Again, the Japanese are not able to inflict a decisive defeat to the US Navy. But such a war will not be decided by one decisive battle as the Japanese hope. The Japanese lose three carriers that they can't replace, and almost as critical is the loss of its experienced air crew. Their training program is inadequate due to the chronicle fuel problems. Conversely, the loss of two carriers is not a tragedy for the USA. There are 24 Essex-class carriers under production, and the US will have about 100 carriers of various sizes in 1945. However, this battle will give the Japanese free reign in the Pacific for six months. August 1942, Canadian Front. The Canadians fought bravely, but can't just hope to stand against America for long. The USA has vastly more men, tanks and aircraft, and the means to make more very quickly. The US has now around 2 million men for the invasion. The Canadians can muster 400,000 men, some very experienced units, we're just going but only 24 the tanks. We're going to get all the Most military equipment coming from England is intercepted by American naval patrol. Canadian manufacturing is heavily crippled in this war, as most of the industry is within the first 100 kilometers of the US border. Montreal falls in July. Ottawa and Toronto in August. Hey, at least this means that the Halifax. Annex Canada, I bet you won't have to September get legalized American citizenship to, to already be part of our territory. <laughs> the surrenders. There is partisan resistance which continues for some time in the final. November the 1st, 1942. US Marines land on Christmas Island. The Japanese defenders are overwhelmed. Wait, the Japanese so make several oh, attempts to since... island. Oh boy! What? There's some place called Christmas Island. Yes, uh, oh. I believe that it's where Australia sends all of its illegals into a, a holding facility. A new meaning Supposedly. to the end of the year. Fuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> It's Monroe Doctrine being taken seriously. Yes. Yeah. From sea to shining sea. Yeah. To December to retake the island, but the landing Japanese forces also are yes, always cider. Given back. Quebec is fucking. Uh, fucking. There's an old joke in Canada, and the joke is that um, two men encounter a genie. And, but the genie, for some reason, is only willing to grant each of them one wish. The man from Montreal says that I want a wall around Montreal so that no other Canadians can get in. The genie grants him his wish, and he puts a he puts a, a wall around all of Quebec. The other man, who is just a regular Canadian, says, fill the wall with water. <laughs> That's what Canadians think of Quebecers, for the record. In January, after five naval battles and almost daily aerial battles and naval bombardment, the Japanese abandon their efforts to retake the island. America is striking back. In Africa, oh, man, Axis tries to break the British resistance at El. Yeah, regardless. You're not Goodbye, wrong, dude, man. Me. You're not wrong, dude, man. The areas of Montreal, uh, the areas of Quebec that aren't infested with triad uh, Jamaican gangs or Hell's Angels are very beautiful. But the areas that are infested with those three gangs, not so much. What happens? Yeah, oh, Canada man. has a gang problem. We also have in a China, with Japanese. Mafia, but we're not allowed to talk about them. <laughs> Forces have large successes south of Shanghai, but the bloodiest front is the Eastern Front. My God, Russia, the Uru bodies October are everywhere. <sighs> Forty-two. The Battle of Stalingrad begins when the Sixth Army and elves of the Fourth Panzer Army reach the city. Zhukov is the commander of the Stalingrad defenses. The battle quickly degenerated into house-to-house -house fighting. 
On November the 19th, 1942, the Red Army launches Operation Uranus, a two-pronged attack targeting the Romanian armies protecting the 6th Army's flanks. But in this situation, without a threat to the West and without bombings, the Axis forces are far better equipped with more reserves and hold the line. Operation Uranus fails. Heavy fighting continues at Stalingrad for another two months. At the beginning of February 1943, the Axis forces retreat from Stalingrad, but without the heavy losses of our timeline. March 1943, Tehran. Stalin, Churchill, and the Japanese Prime Minister Tojo have a meeting to discuss their future strategy. Churchill gives a speech saying, these three powers are like the teeth of a trident. We will hit together all the enemies of peace. The name of Trident will remain to designate the alliance of the UK, Japan, and the Soviet Union. Meanwhile, at Pinemünde in Germany, okay, so there is the, the first successful launch of a V2 rocket. Of he goes nuclear. Yes. <laughs> the rocket reaches a height of 85 kilometers. The Americans show great interest. But the Germans don't need to invest enormous resources on this technology. They're Danish. Like, what do you guys think? Like, it's just based on his accent. What do you think? Is he Polish? Is he Danish? What is he? Uh. I would say someone from the Balticum, Swedish, Finnish. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. So you think Norwegian, basically? Yeah. Because they, they have a heavy heart on for alternate uh, World War II history. <laughs> and black metal. <laughs> I mean, some black available. metal is really good. Some what? black metal. Some black metal is really good. And well, yes, and, and they really yes. want to see the U.S. just take care of all North America continent, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> and, and yes, CBR, that is unironically a problem in Canada. The Jewish Mafia. I'm not even joking. Oy vey. <laughs> An easier way to bomb London. At the start of 1943, the United States Army 8th Air Force arrives in France and Normandy. The Germans never had heavy bombers and are hampered by poor aircraft range. The arrival of U.S. bombers changes the situation. March 1943. 64 B-17 and B-24 bombers dispatched from the airbase at Chateau Dune, France, fly the first American bombing raid against the British, targeting the port of Southampton, escorted by German Messerschmitt Bf 109 And so America says planes. no to being a colony once more. <laughs> uh, I, believe the, I believe the Swedish are taught English, but that's, I don't think it's necessarily, is it statewide? I can't remember. Uh, let's look it well, up. At the very least, I think it's taught as like a business language Are since it seems to be Swedish what, like the universal business language, English that is. is I know that the, in... yes, the Finns are is. still learning Russian in school. Uh, English is still taught in Swedish schools to this day, yes. That's probably a good idea, Helmut. <laughs> <laughs> An increasing number of raids will follow in the next months. From Norway, American B-17 bombers participated in the German effort against Leningrad. <clears throat> Despite the Axis BS, I like the U.S. beating the British Empire's ass. <laughs> yes. In May 1943, 250 U.S. AAF heavy bombers are available in Europe. The Eagle Squadron, the American volunteers in the Luftwaffe, are officially transferred to U.S. Army Air I love Force. That word. General yeah. Dwight Eisenhower arrives in Berlin, ready to assume the so post of Commander of awesome American Forces. <laughs> like it's just seriously, Wehrmacht, Luftwaffe, like just come on, Flammenwaffe, like mm, that language is so awesome. <laughs> It's the only language in which you can tell someone you love them and it sounds like you're about to fucking kill them. Yeah. <laughs> English is the business language. French is the diplomatic language. Yeah, pretty much. That makes sense. It's, uh, it's it, French is very flowery and uh, elaborate, whereas English is very direct. Yes. How do they describe it in the Matrix? Spe uh, swearing in French is like wiping your ass with silk. 
<laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Big Big language, language, language of love. Hey, <laughs> baby, may art, hey? In Europe. But in the East, the Soviets continue their slow advance. China, February 1943. The Japanese 3rd, 6th, and 40th Divisions take Changsha. March 1943. 60 Japanese battalions start the Zhejiang Jiangxi campaign. April 1943. Isamo Yokoyama, commander of the Japanese 11th Army, enters Changde. In the meantime, the Soviets invade Xinjiang. The Chinese army collapses. And China. Chiang Kai-shek surrenders in India to the British. But the communists organize guerrilla actions in northern and eastern China, behind the Japanese lines. Japan lacks sufficient manpower to control China's vast countryside. Apart from bolstering Japanese morale, the conquest brings few benefits for Japan. China is agrarian and poor. The captured territories don't have any industrial infrastructure. And the main problem for the Japanese is not China. By 1943, American factories begin to churn out seemingly endless quantities of equipment ships and planes. There is no match between the USA and yes, Japan, regardless of how many initial victories there are. Not the population of the US in 1940 is 132 million, while the population of Japan is half, 73 million. The US produces five times the steel, seven times the coal, 40 times the iron ore, 80 times the cars, and has more modern factories. The U.S. has the resources to quickly design and produce new generations of fighters, bombers, and carriers in great numbers, while Japan mainly relies on updating pre-war designs and can't even produce enough of those. In addition, the U.S. has all... What? I still wonder where the nukes at. That's the great equalizer in any kind of world war. ...the necessities for making weapons within its borders. Japan and Britain have to import everything. In our timeline, the American immense superiority in men and equipment was being largely diverted to the European war. In this situation, the USA adopts an Asia-first policy, using most of their power against Japan. And the United States of America has another trump card. During 1943, a team led by Enrico Fermi, with the participation of German scientists Karl Heisenberg and Paul Hartek, initiates the first nuclear chain reaction. The Manhattan Project has begun. The United States is the only nation which can waste resources for the development of a weapon which might work or not. August 1943, the Eastern Front. The Germans are now far from Moscow and Stalingrad and continue to lose ground. But Red Army forces have a salient near Kursk. The situation on the Eastern Front is different from our timeline. There is no Lend-Lease for the Soviets. Lend lease was not tank superiority. Fatal for the Soviets, but it still delivered 11,000 planes, 6,000 tanks, and 300,000 trucks. The Germans don't have to spend a fortune defending France. The Italians, Romanians, and Hungarians are still on the fields. The Axis has millions more soldiers available. There is no bombing of German industries. Right? There's a huge upgrade like, in the seriously. quality and quantity. They're giving the Germans a panzer. Where the <laughs> fuck are my Shermans? Where the hell are my... Where are my A1, M1 Abrams tanks? Give me my damn Abrams. Let's yes, get some howitzers are... on the field there. More exactly. Daka Daka. Because for those of you that don't know, I am indeed an M1 Abrams tank. It's what I identify as. <laughs> of German war material, new weapons, the Panther tank, and larger numbers of the Tiger heavy tanks are present at Kursk. July 5th, 1943, the Battle of Kursk begins. The Germans attack the Kursk salient with two simultaneous attacks from north and south. The Soviets launch powerful counterattacks, one of which leads to a large armored clash, the Battle of Prokhorovka. They cannot stop the Germans. After four days in the Kursk salient, six Soviet armies are cut off and destroyed. The Soviets lose 3,000 tanks. From now on, the so The greatest loss in this all's history is the loss of the P-51D Merlin-powered Mustang. <laughs> I hit tears and I'm shaking. Oh. Right. Oh. The Soviets will be unable to launch further important offenses. The situation is worsening for the other teeth of the Trident II. 
In the Pacific, the Battle of the Marshall Stars. May 1943, United States Marines land on Kwajalein, but sustain Look, high casualties. Liam to this podcast. September. <laughs> 1943, the 503rd Parachute Regiment under the Plan for Land Campaign. The fighting on the island continued to the end of the war. Uh, Every time I hear you, the you guys do know what happened with the Hindenburg, right? Not the Hindenburg. Yeah, they fucking lit a match. It, it, it went. Oh, it was. It was struck by lightning. But it yeah, also it, went very much kablooey. But the, the, like, yeah. the joke, the old it, joke in uh, false history, like there's this, uh, there's a song from a comedic uh, musical troupe called uh, the Arrogant Worms. They, uh, they they have a song called "History Is Made by Stupid People," and it's literally historical nonfiction, or it's literal literal historical fiction, like dumb historical fictions that Canadians believe actually happened, and mm. one of them. Is that they should have turned on the no smoking light before they filled it up with explosive gas? In regards to the, <laughs> in regards to the Hindenburg. Yeah, the you know, it scared everybody off of using uh, hydrogen for uh, lighter than airships. Um, but I yeah. saw a thing like decades ago talking about it. Well, lightning and, is a completely different chemical reaction to regular and, fire. It's high, yeah, very they, high energy. But <laughs> but they pointed out that. Uh, Apparently, the skin of the airship was painted with uh, some kind of chemical mixture that's very similar to what NASA uses for solid rocket booster fuel. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Boom. No wonder that thing lit up like a Roman candle. Yeah, yeah dude. That's why. It, it, and it wasn't even hit by regular fire. It got struck by lightning, which yeah. is a much more energy. Uh, yeah, it, you know. Might have been okay if you if you hadn't painted it with, <laughs> with rocket fuel. <laughs> yeah. It, I, oh. Every time I hear the oh the humanity or any variation of it, I go straight to the scene in Archer where Archer is beating Pam with a with her dolphin floof and just saying humanity. <laughs> oh, God. In the Atlantic, British convoy losses are increasing. Everything has to arrive through waters infested with German submarines, which are often resupplied in the USA's harbours, and there is the increasing presence of the US Navy. Imagine building a hydrogen-filled airship for war. Yeah. <laughs> it'll blow up, but when it does, it'll be spectacular. Yeah, exactly. Rocket fuel is my favourite Chevy Volt colour. Fair enough. The German Admiral Dönitz moved the Tirpitz from Norway to the United States Atlantic coast, where it will be better protected from air attacks. The UK has to maintain her vital supply lanes to places like India and South Africa in order to keep her industrial base supplied. The Arctic route is dangerous and the Persian route is long, whilst Persia could switch sides at any moment. There are the continued bombings of the British industrial areas, the USAAF, based in France, is now a formidable force. September 1943. Liverpool Everybody is gets heavily bombed in France. Everybody. What? Everybody gets a re some real estate in France. Everybody. Yeah, dude, honestly, it's almost like nobody likes the French, except the French. <laughs> Let's be clear. The French are the, uh, the hillbillies of the planet. Never mind the rednecks out in the fucking, you know, out, out in the south of Canada and the U.S. The French are legitimately the hillbillies of Earth. <laughs> Which at the time is the heaviest air assault in history. Birmingham and Manchester are bombed, and Sheffield, London, Plymouth, Leeds, Glasgow. The Luftwaffe increases the rates. An air raid on Edinburgh causes a seven-day firestorm. 20th of September. The Luftwaffe and USAAF drop 2,300 tons of bombs on London. Sometimes there are heavy losses between the bombs. 
The American hope that the Fly Fortress B-17 with its 13 Browning's 12.7 millimeters would be able to take on the RAF fighters, especially when they are flying in formation. Meanwhile, the back in Australia, the EU's enacted September 1943. Of the 290 B-17 bombers sent on the mission over Leeds, 60 are lost outright, and another 20 are damaged so heavily yes, they have to be scrapped. The ostriches of the air cover. Well, have discovered that humanity's weapons are progressing much too far. They're beginning to consider. <laughs> Involving themselves. Of the German FW 190 fighters. Other targets are hit. The USAAF bombs Alessandria in Egypt and Malta. Massive bombing of Soviet industrial areas and attacks on cities such as Voronezh, Tula, Murmansk, and Leningrad. The UK still has a strong fleet. 16 battleships. 52 carriers, though most of these are small escort carriers, 62 cruisers, 257 destroyers, 131 submarines and 9 other ships. But American productivity is growing enormously and while the UK's industrial capacity is failing, the Axis powers become stronger day after day and the British and her allies are in trouble. No Lend-Lease it means that the U.S. has about 30,000 tanks, 26,000 tanks, 600,000 other military vehicles, over 1,800 merchant and 1,400 naval vessels more. Let's compare the World War II production numbers. The British High Command knows that in the long run there is oh, no yeah, more. Voice the Royal change. Navy plans to draw the US Atlantic Fleet into a decisive battle. This showdown could change the war. January 5, 1944, a British naval force of 9 battleships, 15 cruisers, 19 carriers and 33 destroyers leaves Cabo Flo, directed to the American coast. There are not the visionary movements, the British want to face up the whole US fleet. Americans cannot permit that such a force arrives too close to their coast. They have to react. 11th of January, 1944. In the morning, near the Bermudas, there is the clash. The British have a strong numerical advantage, except in aircraft carriers. But the carriers are the new capital ship of naval warfare, and British naval superiority in terms of battleships is irrelevant. A battleship could fire salvos of 1,000 kilogram shells to range of foot kilometers. A plane like Ron yes, TF Avenger it, like, could drop a 1,000 kilogram bomb. It's like preventing the propaganda from getting out. It's the crown. The crown is disturbing our stream. <laughs> The crown is indeed coming after our stream. The moral of the story, guys, the USA would have came out on top in World War II no matter what side we pick. Yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Shadow the Creator for fiction writers, World War II never ended. Yeah, pretty much. And in this version, we pretty much go rock'em, sock'em against everybody. <laughs> like, everybody's <laughs> shooting at each other. <laughs> at a range of hundreds of kilometers with more precision. The British carriers has much less aircraft on board, often obsolete biplanes, and the fleet has a few modern anti-aircraft guns. Cooperation with the Royal Air Force is limited. The battle is short, but violent. The US Navy's cruiser is hit by naval gunfire and sunk. All seven US destroyers are lost. The Sante and the Bulk USA escort carriers are torpedoed and sunk. While the Turpist is hit by a 380mg salvo, but survives, and the Germans lose two U-boats. The British lose a carrier, the battleship Benjamin and New York, two cruisers, five destroyers, and has several ships damaged. At the end of the day, British and disengages, ending the battle. Both sides claim victory. The U.S. lost more ships and twice as many sailors and aircraft, but succeeded in containing the Royal Navy. The British plan of destroying a substitutional portion of the U.S. fleet also failed. But the British losses are more visible, while holding out the U.S. Navy would be pointless. 
America will just build the Navy, getting Britain in a virtual and unwinnable race. From now, the Royal Navy will concentrate their Navy on the defense of the islands. The gates are opened. Night of 8th of March, 1944. An American oh, yes, fleet consisting of 350 like, warships and 500 transports carrying 75,000 right troops <laughs> sails from Hampton Roads, Virginia, directed to the coast of Morocco. Yeah, I. Uh, it's very difficult for me to know what's happening or not happening. Because... Oh, look, we're going to land on the French It, it all again. looks fine in... Uh, the stream yards back in for me. Yeah, it's so it, it <laughs> is indeed roboting for me as well, Cider. So it's not a you thing. Yep. And yep, yeah, yep. dude, it's the stream itself. There's something wrong. America's landed on the shores again. Yep. Expanding to make this World War Three again. What in the world in the wide, wide stream in the hell is this? You got the stored ass fucking shit. What the hell? Is your, uh, by chance, is your uh, Windows Defender running at the moment? Because that shit eats RAM and can cause no. video distortion. No, you're, you're, like, you're streaming at 144p and it's going, and I, we went to cross the water and shot the Germans. Yes. America shooting everybody again, right? It's Lee McGray strike channel right now, absolutely. Oh. Quickly, summon more emus. They must peck him to death. It's weird, too, because we weren't having this problem last night, so it's definitely a... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's called a loss. He's got glowies on his account now because mm. he's looking up stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're at uh, 38 minutes, uh, 38 seconds. Uh, everybody remember that. I'm going to attempt to reboot Chrome and see if that has at all. All right. 38, 38. Back shortly. Damn, I was hoping that he'd leave. He and for leave. some reason, nobody has used any nukes yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What the fuck? It says downloading is in progress. I thought downloading anything. Uh, uh -oh. Auto updates. Uh -oh. Sounds like you got a window. Yep, there he goes. Oh my god! Windows killed him. Okay, welcome to the Prime 4K show with Einbrick. <laughs> yes. uh, your special guest is Fiona Wolf and Helmet. Uh, we were talking about how America would have joined forces with the uh, Axis powers. And somehow we still haven't bombed Australia into oblivion yet, even though we invaded Canada already. Uh, we don't consider their country, remember? We, we, we never did. Ah, uh, yes, but still, alternate history. It's like, hmm, maybe America should annex more things. It's mm, the great yes. North American continent block. Well, uh -huh. I see Cider's here, and uh, if he was here to tell you, he'd say that we should have uh, made Japan into a 51st state, so. Yes. Absolutely. And Canada should be a vassal state or a state outright of the United States, period. Like, there's just no reason for us to be separate. Uh, obviously, we'd have to deal with the liberal shit heel problem in Canada before we could become a vassal state. But, you know, I'm I'm okay with that. I, I, I don't want you stinking Canadians. You can keep them maple syrup. Yeah, 50th state, fuck Hawaii. Yeah, fuck Hawaii. I agree. I, I have a question to the Americans here. Uh, why did you claim Puerto Rico? I don't understand. Puerto Rico is a shithole. It's uh, it's it's like we had in the Philippines back in the day. It's one of those uh, island chains that we claim sovereignty over. Yeah, it, it, I guess it's also a way for be, people to claim like uh, tax evasion too. Uh, not since they started taxing people there. Now you can actually have social security benefits in Puerto Rico now. Ooh, okay, so now they're no longer tax evasion as much. Yes. Well, okay. is anything better or different? Or you're rebutting. It's you're your internet. a little bit. It's definitely your internet. Damn it! You need to call your provider and tell them to stop having your shit stolen from the uh, local Chinese restaurant. 
Elasi, you shouldn't download German piss porn during your streaming. Oh, good yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> we have a golden shower streaming until after we're done, Elasi. Well, I uh, I really have no idea what download it was talking about because this, you know, there was nothing. It's most likely Unless it's one, one of those updates. things where it's like you start downloading something and it like, you know, you download other shit. And you never noticed that uh, one image that I tried to save, it, it didn't stay. It's still Holy you know, fuck. trying for it. Well, Lassie's trying uh, real hard to become Megatron. Uh, <laughs> I think he already is. He sounds like a Commodore uh, 64. Yes, <laughs> yes he does. <laughs> okay, well, I have no idea what uh, what the fuck happened so uh, or is happening. But uh, I guess uh, we'll have to finish this later, uh, either later today or tomorrow, maybe, or something. Or, or you can just get the link to somebody who's got better internet. But that's up to you. Who has better internet? Well, I have, I mean, I have awesome gigabytes. internet, but the last time we tried this, my fucking audio wouldn't share for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with your fucking audio share? I don't know. God, between you and Rikita, you guys got StreamYards problems. Hmm. Right? Dude, I hate StreamYards. It is a terrible program. Can we go back to Hangouts and do like uh, Medicare does, where he just uses the StreamYards to host the Hangouts? Yes, because it just works. Like, every time. That's... Uh. <laughs> Well, it's, and I'm not even being facetious or like ironic here. It just works. Hangout sucks, yes, but at least it works. I I miss the days when we used to have that on here with Google. It was so easy mm -hmm. to do streams. And yeah, for the and the brief stint with uh, Google Plus, Liam is hacking your router. He's coming after your router. Oh great! He knows you're a member of the Crustacean Cabal. He wants revenge. I haven't been a minute with the Castration Cabal since Delta fucking left. Alas, I've been I've been bringing it up again because it's funny and it seems to uh, incense Liam. <laughs> oh no, I think we lost the lossy. He's too quiet. Yep, we lost him. Okay, back to the show. Uh, what were we talking about again? <laughs> the Jewish mafia in Canada being a serious problem that needs to be gassed. Holy uh, shit, uh, you uh, really uh, want to get canceled, don't you? <laughs> I am really interested in the fact that, yes, where were the Shermans? Ryder Coomer. <laughs> where were you? We? guys are, are bigger anti Semites than we are. <laughs> uh, that tells you a lot when fucking the German of the group's like, motherfucker, these guys <laughs> and their Jew hate. <laughs> uh, well, you, you see okay, what I'm, happened. Am I still roboting? No, you're actually clear now. Oh, okay. don't you sound clear? Where are my shamans? Yes, exactly, <laughs> Matthew. Guess we can try this. Uh, see if it works. Lease. Fifth. No. Bridges have a. The British lose a carrier. Plan of destroying substitutional portion of the U.S. fleet also failed. But the British losses are more replaceable. While wiping out the US Navy would be pointless, America would just rebuild the Navy, getting Britain in a perpetual and unwinnable race. From now, the Royal Navy will concentrate their Navy on the defensive of the islands. The gates to Europe are opened. Night of 8th of March, 1944. An American fleet consisting of 350 warships and 500 transports carrying 75,000 troops sails from Hampton Roads, Virginia, directed to the coast of Morocco. Operation Torch, the US invasion of Vichy Control of North Africa, begins. In the first hours, the French opposition is harsh. North Africa, apparently. They have 125,000 soldiers stationed in North Africa. Coastal artillery, tanks, aircraft and warships. However, Vichy France, headed by Bataan, is a pro-access government and has more than a reason to hate the British. Back in 1940, the United Kingdom sunk French ships at Merche Cabert. French colonies had been invaded by the United Kingdom, like Syria, 
and Lebanon, Madagascar, Central Africa in a failed attack at Dakar. The Taan orders not to oppose the American force and in the following days, France declares war on the United Kingdom. The US now 1st and 2nd Armored Division, the 1st, 3rd and 9th Infantry Divisions with General George Patton in command moves east towards Al Alamein. I mean, is France even really France at this point based on all the Spain. other countries? Spain. Franco have, makes uh, to Hitler and Mussolini. Like, it, it seems to me like France is just a, in this alternate history, France is just a puppet state. Yeah. Controlled by a bunch of other countries. Everywhere gets a piece of France. Woo! So, so, so what I'm gathering here is that France is just like Mussolini with Italy now. It would seem so. Fr France is now owned by... <clears throat> Uh, partners with, brought to you by <laughs> Mussolini. Enormous requests for food, petrol, and arms for joining the, the Axis. Of EU progress, yes. It is enormous for the Axis, not for the USA. March the 29th, after a meeting between Franco and Eisenhower in Madrid, Spain enters the war. Gibraltar surrenders. April the 22nd, 1944, Brazil declares war on the Trident followed by Argentina and Mexico. The first U.S. convoy arrives at Bordeaux in January 1944, carrying canned meat and spare parts. It will be followed by an increasing flow of material, and before the end of the war, the Axis will receive 18 million tons of weapons, supplies, and food. 11,000 trucks, 8,000 jeeps, 7,000 tanks, of which 4,000 are Shermans, 9,000 aircraft, 3,700 of which are P-39 variants, 8,000 motorcycles, high-octane aviation fuel, ammunition, artillery shells, explosives, and 2 million tons of food. The USA provides steel, aluminum, copper, nickel, and manganese to feed German industry. Hang, hang on, hang Parts on, of the pause, German pause. Tiger heavy tank. Helmet, this is saying this is in 1944. Was it the uh, Luftwaffe already experimenting with the, uh, the, I forget what the fuck it's called, but it's basically the fighter jet that came out the late stage of the war? You mean the uh, Frill Haunebu uh, aircraft, who looks like a UFO? No, or, I'm, or I'm, I'm, the, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the ones that, I'm talking about the ones that the Red Tails had uh, a little bit of intercourse with, with their P-51s back in the day, the late stage of the war. I know they were in development in 44, though. Let me look them up. Like these Fokkers or Messerschmitts? Uh, let me see. Jets. German. Tank are produced in the USA, then assembled in Europe. It wouldn't technically the US been Sherman M4 tanks. They would have specifically been airplanes, because uh, I don't think jet technology existed back then. Uh, yes, the Messerschmitt uh, ME262 jet fighter. Oh, it okay. was a jet fighter. Okay. Yes, yes. The they, the Germans had jet fighters at the end of the war. They were deployed very freaking late, and they did come across red tails and against some P fifty ones. It is recorded, but they were being in later wow. stage development in uh, I think it's September of forty four. Showing once again that a country with proper leadership, whether you agree with the leadership or not, is going to advance faster than everybody else. It's modified by the Germans, fitting it with the more powerful 88 millimeter gun, but they will never be used on the Eastern Front. Most importantly, the Axis receives 10 million tons of vital oil. The Bahamas and Jamaica are invaded in January and Iceland is taken in April. Bermuda is bypassed, it's fairly isolated. There is no naval or air power, and it cannot be resupplied. It is repeatedly bombed to destroy any possible threat. In the Atlantic, the Axis now has predominance. The first American forces, the Second Corps, under really? the command of Clark, arrives they in just, Europe, landing they at don't Bordeaux. Nuke Japan, but instead they fucking destroy one of the greatest uh, vacation getaways in the world. You bastards. <laughs> I just had a curiosity. Have the Japanese bombed them in this scenario, or are they in Axis together? What? 
Because you're talking about Japan a lot. I was like, okay. No, uh, Japan is actually uh, on the side of the British in this particular alternate. How the fuck did that happen? We own their oil fucking... Uh, oh, that's... Okay, now... Okay, all right. On January the 26th, 1944. The war continues in the Pacific. Yes! February the 17th, 1944. American Marines <laughs> land on Inuitok. On June the 15th, the 2nd and 4th Marine Divisions land on Saipan. Exactly in July... That. It's what? I've played that garbage, Raid Shadow Legends. It's exactly that garbage. All <laughs> mobile games are shit. If you uh, play and enjoy mobile games, I should slap you. Another quick question before we begin. Uh, is, is this also the reality where uh, Hitler does not try to go after the Russians with the Eastern Front? Or, or the Russians with the... Nope, Britain? there's already an Eastern Front. Oh, for, that's... Okay, well, I guess we're going to lose this war. By the U.S. captures Guam and Tinian. The U.S. effort in carrier construction is just scary. The U.S. launches five new Essex-class aircraft carriers in 1943 and nine in 1944. The Japanese carriers are smaller compared to the American carriers. The Essex-class carries 90 aircraft. The new Japanese carrier is only 60 aircraft. The British, distrusting its Japanese ally, fails to share its expertise in radar technology. June 19th through 20th, 1944, the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Nine Japanese aircraft carriers and 500 land-based aircraft face the U.S. Fifth Fleet, which has 15 fleet carriers and 950 aircraft, under the command of Admiral Spruance. It is the largest carrier battle in history, and another defeat for the Japanese. The Taiho, Shokaku, and Hiyo are sunk, and 630 Japanese aircraft are lost. This is effectively the end of the Japanese carrier force. The Japanese had spent a year reconstituting their carrier air groups, and the Americans destroyed it in two days. Japan is now within range of American B-29 bombers. Africa, July 1944. The arrival of the American forces and the flow of ammunition and oil that follow is decisive. At El Alamein, Rommel and the Italians, re-equipped with Sherman tanks, can finally break the British 8th Army's resistance and enter Alexandria in August. In their first battle at El Hamam near El Alamein, the inexperienced American troops are forced to- What? They finally mentioned Sherman tanks, I think. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Anywhere Patton goes, there's always a Sherman to follow it. To retreat, but the second corps of Patton will be Just the like first Obama Axis group to enter Cairo. Suez is taken in the first days of September 1944. Malta surrenders at the same time. August the 31st, Turkey enters the war on the Axis side. July the 26th, 1944, oh, there's the there is the good. first aerial victory for a jet fighter. An ME-262 damages a de Havilland Mosquito aircraft. The bomber version of the ME-262 delivers a payload to its target without anyone being able to do a whole lot to stop it. 4,000 ME-262 fighter bombers will be in service before the war ends. More and more American soldiers are arriving in the European theater. After the fall of Gibraltar, the more secure port of Genoa and Marseille can be used. By September 1944, one million American troops have arrived in France. September the 16th, Eisenhower flies to Berlin to discuss Operation Sea Overlord. The invasion of prison. <laughs> In Russia, the front line has stabilized from Narva to the Azov Sea, far from Moscow and Stalingrad. This is one of the bloodiest fronts, with gigantic tank battles, heavy artillery barrages, tens of divisions on the move, and few prisoners. Oh man, these guys really want America to blow everybody up, don't they? In the Pacific, Japan is losing ground. September 1944, American Marines land on the Palau Islands. The Japanese attempt again for the decisive battle by utilizing their last remaining strength at Leyte, but they suffer another defeat losing four carriers, three battleships, and ten cruisers. However, after the victory in China, Japan is far from defeat. 
but a game changer is arriving. What game changer is that? Conscripting the Chinese? December the 16th, 1944, Almogordo, New Mexico. The U.S. conducts the first test of a nuclear weapon, months before then in our timeline, thanks to the collaboration of German scientists. The USA has two nukes ready for three enemies. It is too dangerous to drop the bomb in Japan. The bombing campaign started only some months before. Following German requests, the bombs will be dropped over Russia. Yes. January the 4th, 1945, the modified B-29 takes off from Norway and drops the little boy on Lenin. January the 7th, another bomb on Smolensk. The two bombings kill more than 300,000 people. Stalin is not particularly scared from this new weapon and orders unrestricted sarin usage. The fight in the east becomes even more bloody. Operation Overlord, the invasion of Britain, is set for the 26th of March, 1945. Nearly 120,000 troops using 4,000 vessels will cross the British Channel. It will be the largest amphibious military operation in history. Before the landings, 1,000 bombers will drop 5,000 tons of bombs on British defenses. The P-51 Mustang fighters are now protecting American bombers. Atomic bombs will probably be used as well. At the time, the secondary effects of the nukes were not well known. The Axis commits 40 divisions to the Battle of England, 19 German, 16 American, 3 French, and 2 Italian, totaling around 1 million troops. General Dwight D. Eisenhower is appointed commander of the Expeditionary Force, and Rommel is named as the commander of all the land forces involved in the invasion. The first wave of the landing will consist of 11 infantry divisions. Two infantry divisions on New Romney Beach, codenamed Omaha, assigned to the Americans. Two infantry divisions supported by three battalions of tanks on Rye Beach, codenamed Utah, assigned to American and French. Two infantry divisions on Bexhill Beach, codenamed Schwert, assigned to the Germans. Three infantry divisions on Cuckmere Haven Beach, codenamed Juno, and assigned to the Germans and Italians. That's an unfortunate. The American 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions yeah. and the German Brandenburg Regiment will land in Kent, north of Hythe, to seize the aerodrome at Limpne and to capture Folkestone. The second wave of eight panzer and motorized infantry divisions will arrive after some hours. A third wave is formed of six further infantry divisions. The Strait of Dover will be blocked at both ends by mines. In the months leading up to the invasion, the Axis conduct a misinformation campaign to lead the British into expecting an attack on Anglia. However, the landing will never happen. In Great Britain, the situation has become untenable. The combined American-German Navy caused the UK to be almost entirely blockaded. The US Navy is now larger than every other Navy in the world, combined. 6,780 ships, including 28 aircraft carriers, 23 battleships, 70 escort carriers, 72 cruisers, over 230 submarines, 380 destroyers. Bombers continue to hit England, especially London. The empire is lost, aren't they? India like, is in open revolt, Canada and Egypt are invaded, home. in the Middle East there is disorder, <laughs> South Africa is isolated, Australia is far away. Okay, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. London. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I, congratulations on being American. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I, I just gotta ask, did they bring up anything about uh, the king's brother as a usurper in this at all? I didn't hear no, anything about it yet. Yeah, but yeah, because the the reason why the king became the king uh, during before the war uh, is because his wife was <laughs> actually a German national who was part of the National Socialist Party at the time. Ooh. Yes, so I, I I don't know if that could have played in this story at all because that would have been a great little thing where he could have taken control of Great Britain again as a usurper. But oh well, moving on. <laughs> London, January the 28th, 1945. Churchill resigns. Then the UK accepts the generous peace conditions offered by the USA and surrenders. The king can remain. No reparations will be paid. There will be no loss of the fleet. Colonies will be free to follow the path they decide. The war in Western Europe is over. 
The peace conditions are really mild. The German leaders don't hide their position. Mussolini says it's more an armistice than a surrender. But at the end, they have to accept the decisions of their powerful partner. There are reasons for these light peace conditions. First of all, the decision of the British to preserve the Royal Navy made a landing very dangerous, with the risk of disaster and the obvious risk of high casualties. It would be difficult to explain this to American public opinion, since most of them were not fully convinced of the necessity of a war with the British. The RAF is still larger than what the Luftwaffe was in the West. In 1944, the UK stopped producing bombers and focused more on fighters. But the main reason is that a defeated and invaded Britain would leave the whole of Europe to the Axis, and the United States of America needs a strong UK to be turned into an ally after the war. However, Hitler was never interested in a war with Britain. And at the price for peace with Britain, Hitler earns free hands in the East. The Eastern Front had few operations after Kursk. The Soviets restarted their slow advance with no major operations. The Soviet Union still has the strongest land army in the world. They produce twice the artillery of Germany and the United States of America combined. The same number of heavy tanks as US and Germany combined, more machine guns, more everything that is on the ground, literally. But their situation is worsening day by day. Hundreds of civilians die from starvation and diseases every day. In the Russian skies, the Axis has predominance. From the Turkish oil fields, the U.S. 9th Bomber Command bombs the Baku oil fields. 80% of the Soviet oil comes from the Caucasus. B-29s strike at the heavy industry in Siberia. The Soviets have difficulties intercepting these high-altitude aircraft. The Germans never had this type of bomber, and air combat over the Eastern Front was generally at lower altitudes, so the Soviets never had the need for high-altitude fighters. They have the very limited MiG-3, and in early 1944 they finished the trials of the I-211, armed with two 20mm cannon. However, the damages from the bombings are limited. A strategic bombing could flatten a city, but it's ineffective for hitting an industry hidden somewhere in Siberia, and the crews of the B-29s that are shot down rarely survive. With Britain out of the war, all Axis forces in Europe move to the Eastern Front, so there are around 1 million extra troops available compared to our timeline. U.S. forces are starting to be deployed in Turkey, and the 10th U.S. Mountain Division is in Finland. The Finnish army is now able to cut off Murmansk. March 1945, the Soviet Central Front takes Kharkov, but at a high price. What? Like, isn't there a game called World at War? Yes. It's, that's what this feels like. It's like their alternate campaign put on screen. <laughs> Meanwhile, the all South. these divisions go over here and invade Italy, or Japan, or... Oh look, there's France, but everybody knows what France is. It's a free real estate. A von Kleist launches an assault on Rostov, but the Soviets hold the line, again with high losses. The Red Army has already lost millions of men. April the 11th, 1945. Stalin is killed. A time bomb hidden in a suitcase detonates during a speech in Moscow. A military unit led by Zhukov, Konyev, Rokozovsky, and Khrushchev seizes power and immediately starts the negotiations for an armistice. Japan is under heavy bombing by air and sea. The American submarines blockade Japan. Few raw materials arrive from Indonesia and China, where a bloody guerrilla war cost Japan too many resources. The Japanese increase their use of kamikazes, but they cannot stop the American advance. January the 9th, Americans land on Luzon and Corregidor Island. The 19th, U.S. Marines invade Iwo Jima and Palawan. The Battle of Okinawa, the bloodiest battle fought in the Pacific, takes place during this time. July 1945, MacArthur announces that the Philippines have been taken. The Japanese Empire is cut in half. August 1945, the USA has another three nukes ready. This time, it's Japan's turn. B-29 bombers from Tinian drop atomic bombs on Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and Kitakyushu, killing around 300,000 people. One of the peace conditions imposed on the Soviets is that they have to declare war on Japan 90 days after their armistice, the time they needed to shift the required number of troops from the European front to the Pacific. August the 9th, exactly on schedule, 90 days after the war ended in Europe, the Soviets enter the war. A battle-hearted, one million strong Soviet force wipes out the Japanese Kwantung army in Manchuria in three weeks. That's why in our timeline, the Japanese always avoided disturbing the Soviets. 
August the 15th, Emperor Hirohito issues a radio broadcast announcing the surrender of Japan. The Second World War is over. The conflict caused 75 million deaths, half of them in Russia and China. August the 17th, 1945, the Potsdam <laughs> Conference begins under Hitler, Mussolini, Pétain, and Truman. Roosevelt died in April. The goals of the conference is the establishment of a post-war order and spheres of influence. Spain obtains Gibraltar. Finland retakes the territories lost during the Winter War with the Soviet Union and some lands in Karelia. So now it's finally getting Romania obtains Moldova and Odessa, but loses... <laughs> It's fine, the battle is finally getting to the top, tip top of the world. You know, Finland being one of the fingers up there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> part of Transylvania to Hungary and Dobruja to Bulgaria. The Netherlands maintain their colonies, at least for a few years. Bulgaria retakes the lands lost after World War I and Macedonia. Italy gains Montenegro, part of Dalmasia, and the British Somaliland. Yugoslavia is split between Serbia and Croatia. Canada. Despite part of the American establishment asking for annexation, Canada remains independent with a Puerto Rico-like confederal status and a military occupation for some years. France. Alsace becomes a free zone, as was Danzig. France is divided into two occupation zones until 1947, <laughs> where they maintain their colonies. The Germans leave Scandinavia, Belgium, and the Netherlands, but the USA has to accept the German annexation of Luxembourg, and Germany is free to build its empire in the east, as the Soviets did in our timeline. The lands Germany lost after World War I are returned to Germany. The Baltic states, Poland, Belarusia, and Ukraine are all German puppet states. Other eastern countries are also under German influence. Japan loses all their possessions in Asia, as in our timeline. Korea is not split in half. <laughs> After the war, Britain is almost the only destination for the Marshall Plan and rises rapidly, but they lose the empire. India becomes independent right after the war, soon followed by all the other colonies. The Chinese Civil War ends with complete communist victory. There will be no Taiwan. In the Soviet Union, Khrushchev becomes the first secretary of the Communist Party. In the French elections of 1948, in which no Communist Party is allowed, Pétain wins the elections by a few votes. France remains a part of the Axis. In Norway, Quisling remains head of a pro-German government. Rudolf Hess is handed over to the Germans. He is executed in 1947. The killing of the Jews happens the same as in our timeline, but in rather low numbers. And with Germany being on the winning side, it will be almost forgotten, as happened to all of Stalin's massacres of the Ukrainians, Baltic peoples, and political opposition as in our timeline. Around a million Jewish refugees enter Israel during and after the war. The Germans are happy to let them go. In 1940, they even thought of relocating all of the Jewish population to Madagascar. A cold war between the Axis and the USA soon begins. The United States creates the NATO military alliance in 1949 in response to the Axis alliance. Both sides and the Soviet Union have an atomic bomb. There are various wait, wait, regional wait, wait. Pause, conflicts. Pause, 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 pause. Um, the... So you, you mean you mean to tell me you mean to tell me? This scenario means that the Americans now disown their 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 agreement with the Germans, and instead of having to worry about just communism, now we're in a cold war against socialism and communism. <laughs> That's a really fucked up thing. Also, I would like to point out, like, how did uh, how did the Americans end up with the uh, with the atom bomb without the German scientists that they pilfered? All right. Uh, well, we were allied with them during the war. Didn't you catch yeah, the part yes. where they said I mean, that I the yeah. said German that, like, scientists helped us develop? Yes, yeah, so it, it segued the Manhattan Project, which originally developed it, which which refugees from German scientists who came here. Yeah. Um, but, oh. Oh, dear. Are you still here? Nope. I think I am. Oh, okay. yep, there he is. 
But it's still interesting that oh look, France gets annexed by more countries again. <laughs> well, they just st- they just stated that the fucking Japanese wiped the floor with the Chinese, and and then he goes and the Chinese had their successful communist revolution. Like how? They, you just said the fucking Japanese wiped the floor with them. Well, they wiped the floor with the uh, um, what's his ass? The uh, non ami God damn it, what is his name? Uh, I don't know. I, I hear Starscream again. I, I, I'm just going to point this out, that the, the two parties that were involved in China was the Communist Party of China and the People's uh, Republic, which eventually turned into Taiwan in our timeline. And the people who became Taiwan in our timeline lost completely. Uh, 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 yeah. But, but the, but the he, commie gorillas hung on, and they managed to take over. After yes, it. after the Japanese went before with them, it doesn't make any sense. They just he just said the Japanese completely had a victory in China, and you're like, oh, okay, so they defeated the communists. Dude, man asked Kishek, is that the one you're referring to? Yeah. And you're and you're right, Fiona. Like all during this fucking time, where are the fucking Australians? Doing nothing. I mean, for God's sakes, the, the Australians were a big part of the the British Empire's um, war efforts during World War One and World War Two. How they kept the Japanese at bay for fucking four years. Well, they were busy fighting the emus. So, yes, yes, they once the ostriches uh, got involved because they saw that mankind was becoming too powerful. It it became too much for the Australians. They uh, they had to fight a war on two fronts. They couldn't help their their British masters. I I just find there's a lot of discrepancies here. Australians are the Pacific French. They are easily defeated by bushfires every year. Yeah. (laughs) And and you notice they don't they don't mention anything about the Africa Corps or the Muslim Brotherhood that was established in it or. Any of the Middle Eastern countries get involved in this. I mean, if you got this type of scenario, <laughs> they're gonna get conscripted sometime. Yeah. Okay, well, the video is almost finished. Let's see if we can finish it before my internet completely craps out on me again. But yes, the Ebus overtook Australia and it basically put human puppets that's, into that's office. True. That is correct, Amp. Uh, Amp. The uh, the emus did win the Australian War. In both timelines. Chinese Civil War, the Cuban Crisis, fights in India between Hindus and Muslims, a civil war in North Korea, Arab-Israeli conflicts, revolts in the Italian, French, done... and Dutch colonies, uh... and discontent in the German-dominated Eastern countries. The world will not be a boring place in the coming the decades. Since France is on the German side, perhaps the Vietnam War will be fought by the Germans, so it would probably be shorter. Uh, okay, pause, Perhaps pause, the first pause, man on the moon pause, will be pause, a German. Pause. Germany was far ahead in missile and jet technology. Who will win the Cold War? Or will we have a World War III soon? Will it be a nuclear war? Or will there be a final clash between Germany and the Soviets? I don't know. This story ends here. Okay, one, we all know if the Axis power had taken over Russia, communism would be dead. Completely. Well, two, uh, yeah, two, two, he just got done saying that, uh, Korea didn't separate, so why is he talking about a civil war in North Korea? Because, because he, he didn't still... he didn't say that, did he? He said yes, a civil he did, war in he China. Did he did that. say that Korea didn't separate. He, he also said the Germans fighting in the Vietnam War. I'm like, okay, so you're assuming that the USSR would not be destabilized after they made an armistice with, with the Russians. I mean, they just killed freaking Stalin, for God's sakes. Oh my God! It's, I, I, it's what happens when lefties create fiction, right? They they fuck it up. I think if, if the Germans would overtake the Russians, they would reinstate the Romanovs. 
and uh, give Russia back to the Tsar. Shh, that would make sense. It's not allowed here. Well, weren't That's the Romanovs staying in Britain at the time? Yep. Yeah. Because the Russian monarchy was opposed to the communism. Well, let him make Tard Lenin happy. <laughs> Not, not, not to mention uh, one of the Romanov uh, descendants was still looking for Anastasia in France for a long time. So yep. there's that too. Oh God, I, I just don't understand how this scenario works for anybody with communism. I mean, once you get blown up with a nuke, it's just like, okay, yeah, I forget communism ideals. From yeah. America with love. You would have been in communism real fucking fast if your people were dying. I, I just, I, I, don't, I just don't see it in this scenario though. If the Russians get their ass handed to them by American and uh, German forces, yeah, I, I just don't think communism will be alive because China be was mostly being supplied from Russian forces at that time. Granted, Germans trained most of the uh, Chinese in the early stages of, of their little civil war, but it was Russia that supplied them in the eventuality for, uh, for them to be able to be a statehood that allowed, allowed them into the 50s to go into places like Nepal and shit like that to start annexing illegally. You, t you know, you cut off the head of the snake. China doesn't have anywhere to grasp, neither does any of the other little lower countries like Vietnam and Laos. That's not allowed here. Logic. Not allowed on the internet. <laughs> not to mention, you, honestly, with uh, American occupation of Japan, hell, they would probably fucking take over every damn thing. Korea would probably be a new, another statehood as well. They wouldn't fucking allow anybody to have it. No, probably not. Oh, okay. Well, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Lefty historians, my dude. <laughs> How much? Any comments? Yeah, it's not that believable. <laughs> <laughs> Except for yeah, America's uh, America's predisposition toward daka 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 daka. Yeah, the only thing that's believable there is indeed the daka daka. Well, uh, what they get right or the. Oh, I have gotten right is uh, that nobody gave a single fuck about the Holocaust. <laughs> Not even in our timeline. Uh, the Americans didn't enter the war to free the Jews out of the concentration camps. They were uh, fucking angry because of Pearl Harbor. Yeah, that's very that's very true. Nobody gave a fuck about them. Not not the Russians. Not the uh, British. Nobody. That's not the cause of the uh, World War Two. No, it's because they've been kicked out of every country they've ever been a part of because they're uh, parasites. Let's let's be clear. Hell, even even the Russians had concentration camps. Actually, According you, to the official records, Stalin killed many more than the Germans did. Uh, considerably more, and the most severe death camps were actually built by the Russians. They weren't built by the Germans, but that's another thing that the the leftist historians like to ignore. Hooray! I'm going to have a glowy in my computer soon. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yes. I mean, if you don't already have a glowy on your computer from associating with me, you, you were just bound to happen eventually okay. anyway. What? You don't say. A Canadian who hates Canada doesn't have a glowy in his computer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Oh, God. It is, it is what it is. You can't be a fucking... A traditionalist in Canada is just not allowed. And when you are, you get monitored hardcore. Personally, I, I kind of like the the other alternate scenario that came about from the Man in the High Castle series. I need oh. to read that book and I need to watch the show because apparently both are quite good. I've only read a synopsis. show is okay. The show is okay, but the book is supposed to be more driven It's uh, with... Uh, Let's just say fictional facts that would make sense. Yeah, but um, it, it gets a little bit science fictiony at the end, just to let you know. But 
what what it does is it shows it shows you what could have happened if we had lost the war and the Germans had actually developed a uh, nuclear bomb before we did. And basically, what they tell Americans to do, they actually make a because uh, the Japanese and the Americans basically get put in between uh, a stalemate between Germany owning the East Coast and Japan owning the West Coast. So it made a de- like a neutral zone in the uh, middle of the states. So, oh, and by the way, everybody tries to flee to Mexico. You, you know, it's, it's funny. Everybody, everybody tries to come here in the future. Now everybody tries to go to Mexico in that future. <laughs> welcome, welcome, fleeing across the different border. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a border hopping American. <laughs> oh boy. I, I had a laugh when they when they cried. when they told that Mexican uh, Mexicans entered the war, and I thought to myself, and nothing really happens after war because <laughs> <laughs> they were useless in our timeline and they are useless in this. In this what the fuck is this artistic art? I, I don't know, but I just got to say something before we start this. Um, I have a problem with that scenario, considering fact the Mexicans hate the fucking French. They do. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, yeah, it's almost like uh, France and Spain are where the conquistadors came from, and Hispanic people legitimately hate those people. Almost. <laughs> Day, the feedback is day of the week. Hot it's feedback Friday, and. Oh, oh no! God, no. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should have recognized. You <laughs> had to pause it right there, didn't you? Good oh, God! God, look at that gay ass fucking face! Holy <laughs> shit, man! Iber- that's her O face. What are you talking about? I just so... ate too much uh, cats. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no such thing as an O face for a woman like this. She hasn't had an orgasm in twenty years. That's why she's so uptight. Not by a man, but I think that pogo stick of Superman probably helped out. I mean, I, I don't gonna think have even to that's do... thick enough at this point. <laughs> she's she's a, 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 a feedback truck. video for Monday's <laughs> video, and then Tuesday yes, video land because I started tracking comments. And we are still here they're, to they're, suffer. They're, <laughs> yes. Way too many. They're all they're all good discussions. Um, yellow classes trick on me. But there's just no time. They're actually functionally so, useful. They, um, uh, they protect your eyes. I don't from, know. Maybe uh, I'll do a follow up on Tuesday from, from last monitor. Tuesday's video. But this is going to be about the <laughs> approaching women <laughs> false, the false away, accusations and then you do the stuff, good stuff. Because there were so we do this many comments. As a few Fire people pointed right out, the... Uh, <laughs> The view fired. to comment ratio yes. was about ten to one. It 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 generated a lot of comments. Lord. Um so let's keep talking. Help support this channel. Become We're a monthly no. patron. No. Patreon.com slash Leanna K. Crazy or buy a one-time <laughs> Leanna Care session for someone who can use it, can't afford it. Coffee.com you slash Leanna K. Um <laughs> Part of the reason I wasn't able to condense comments this week so much is I had so many Leanna Care sessions this week. So I want to squeeze everybody in. They were wonderful as usual. Learned a lot. Actually developed a few new techniques this week that maybe we'll be showing up on future Wellness Wednesdays. And I just realized that one cheek is way stronger than the other cheek. Oh, uh, because you put like on blush bruise. instead of Anyway, actually enough natural? of my okay. <laughs> off-color dark humor. Um... Like I said, obviously this hit a nerve. I'm gonna get a right to my makeup joke right to the is comments. off color dark humor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did she just call her cheek blackface? I uh-huh. I I don't know. I, I just I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a makeup joke is off color dark humor. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Like, I understand what she's saying here. It's a fucking mom joke, but that's, it's. She it looks like look, the look. most retarded X-Wing fighter in history of Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me tell you a little, let me tell you a little secret. And I want you to pay attention very closely. She's painting her eyebrows on. I'm well aware. Yep. I'm, I'm unfortunately 
because of my time in the, the the dating market, I'm unfortunately well aware of women who paint their fucking eyebrows on because they overpluck them like faggots. Yes. Um, Imagine committing yourself to one expression what for an was entire fucking day. interesting like, was the amount of what? agreement. What was also interesting is the number of people... I bet she people... smells bad. <laughs> uh, she honestly looks like she smells like uh, expired tuna and cat piss. Yeah. Like, I'm so glad that we do not care. actually have that kind of technology yet that we can smell. <laughs> She looks like Rosetta when she finally goes on Jenny Craig. Yes. <laughs> yes. Rosetta after she's lost 200 of her 600 pounds. Or Piper, who smells like horse manure. No, 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 because Piper would have to shave her head constantly, and this bitch is doing that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh. <laughs> We're like, nope, sorry, still not approaching women. No one's saying you have to approach women. I, I always find this perplexing. And I realize part of this is because I am a literal thinker. No, no, no. <laughs> Big brain there. <laughs> I'm a literal thinker. Okay. Now, does she mean she thinks constantly? Or does she mean that she's... She's autistic. Can she be both? Because she doesn't think, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> she's a she's, she's a run of the mill fucking NPC who's recently had a code update. That's all she is. They added a couple new they add a couple new lines of dialogue to her by opening the back of her neck, sticking in a new chip every couple of months. Like this isn't. That's not thought, Liana. You walk in lockstep with the left. I'm a literal <laughs> thinker of many things. Yes. <laughs> Precisely, Java. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think we had to open this door. <laughs> Dude, okay. Legitimately, uh, I remember going to a, to a fast food place with friends. And the guy in front of us couldn't figure out how to open the door. He was pulling. It's a push door. And I started laughing. And he's like, what's so funny? Like, they're closed. They, we can't get in. And I just walk up to him, fucking push the door. And he's like, what? Like, oh, dude, it's a push bar. How have you never seen a push bar before? Jesus. Some and somebody told me today that their friends find me condescending because I put so many. No, I didn't. I don't mean this. Oh, no, I don't mean this in my videos. People find that condescending. But every video, the one thing I don't put a caveat on. Someone goes, no. And and <laughs> I guess I. I that. <laughs> no. That was a classic Liam Gray. <laughs> yes, that, that was indeed a Liam Gray moment. Like they're definitely gin they're definitely fucking both gingers for sure. Uh oh god. Look at the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at the eyes. That's got yeah. that that's a screen. Print screen. Right there. <laughs> there we go. So when she's talking about someone being condescending, a group of friends tell her that did she mean an intervention? Sounds like intervention. No, she's she's referring here specifically to the comment section of her video about. She's talking about what she has to do as you know to cater to a left wing audience. Yes, she's <laughs> talking about how she has to add caveats to everything for a left wing audience. Don't take SGW seriously. That is why no one respects old hag. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't put a caveat on. Someone goes no, and and. <laughs> I guess I didn't clearly say, I'm not saying you have to approach women. I'm not even saying you should approach women. I'm just saying if you want to, but if you're afraid to, this is how you do it. Are you wanting nope. me to come and ask you? Is that what you want me to do? <laughs> no, legitimately. Okay. And I will say this. Uh, I will say this now. Uh, declaratively. Uh, Liana Kersner is mad, ass mad. 
that fucking guys aren't hitting on her anymore. And she knows why. Ah. Uh. <sighs> well, lose some fucking weight, go on the fucking gym, <laughs> Craig, and then fucking go put on a scampy fucking dress. Yeah. Like, Simple. It, legitimately, you draw on your eyebrows and you're obese. That guys find yeah. that shit creepy. Yeah, just, just go to the fucking local beauty store and, or, you know, salon and get someone to fucking, you know, stitch you some on. It's better than fucking draw them on. Yeah. Jeez. Imagine having that in your bedroom. This no. Look- no. <laughs> yeah, now you see the O face. No, dude. This, this, <laughs> no, that's... That's an OnlyFans face. That's not an O face. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very too small. You can tell that she sucked on many cuckold penises. Yeah, funny pause face. Yes, exactly. yes. Better get another print screen there. <laughs> yeah, <Nice girl>, Dick. <laughs> yes, nah, that looks like she's a. Uh, she's getting ready to shove another popsicle in her fucking fat gullet. <laughs> okay, can, can we get a screenshot of this and, and put it someplace with Liam Gray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, legitimately, I think the ultimate podcast for me would be a three-way argument between Liam Gray, Liana Kersner, and uh, Ethan Ralph. I think that <laughs> shit would probably kill me. I would okay, like. Okay, can, can we make it a foursome? Laughter. Can we make it a foursome? Because Who's because four? because if we put Nick Fuentes in the mix, yes. then he'll, he'll start hating the women. <laughs> no, 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 no. We put Fuentes in there, and we get Medicare in as the moderator. Okay, all right, that sounds good. <laughs> we'll be doing it. I wish. <laughs> One is like saying Jim's this just is in there compelled- making fun of everyone, and he's supposed to be the pe- like the dispassionate moderator. Mm-hmm. Action mm-hmm. or compelled speech. I can't win. <laughs> it's like a man in modern heterosexual thinking dating. About, thinking right, about right, things later, right. Yes. All right. Uh, so let's get to the comments. Beyond that. Um, First commenter, here's my unpopular opinion regarding from myself who isn't a feminist, and obviously all these are edited a bit. So I can get more. In. I actually appreciate and agree with women being repulsed feminism. by dudes trying to impress, hit on, or attempt to date them. How many stages it's of fi- feminism are there now? Five, it six, five waves. I'm pretty sure it's five. five? It's gonna be six by the time this year is down. Probably. Makes silly nonsense and isn't cute. Very immature and comes across as territorial, very douchebag centric. On the other hand, there are times that this male behavior is categorized as sexual harassment, which I think is too far and harsh. You even have casual conversations be conflated as such. There was even a man who saved a woman from CPR and she filed a serious case on him for sexual assault. Oh my Not God. Okay, hold up, 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 hold the phone. You're not, you can't do that. Too many lol cows, it would cause a temporal rift. I mean, <laughs> I would escape through that temporal rift into whatever reality is beyond because fuck this one. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, you, you can't you can't charge somebody for saving your fucking life. That especially they hold a certification for CPR. No, uh, it depends on the country. Legitimately, Are you fucking serious? Yeah, yeah it legitimately it depends on the country. Okay, well, next motherfucker I see choking, I'm going to be like, hey, I could save your life, but I need your consent. Can you give me a thumbs up? Oh, oh wait, you're dead. Okay, never mind. No, dude, <laughs> when I was learning first aid, and I'm not joking when I say this, when I was learning first aid, I was told that you always have to have consent from a, from a patient to help them. I th- okay, okay, but that's a doctor, right? You know, doctors ask that. And so, can I please touch you and uh, make sure you're okay? Uh, okay, that shit happens. But when someone's fucking choking to death, that's a life, in, you know, death decision. Nope. Not allowed. Unless the only time you're allowed to act on uh, in those situations is when they're unconscious and in distress. Oh, okay, distress, yes. Conscious, uh, yes. So, so, so that's that's an oxymoron. That's a complete fucking oxymoron. I, I, it's, I, well, whatever. I, I guess a bitch is gonna die today. No, no, it is what it is. Like legitimately, I, I. What's the point of learning life saving techniques if, in ninety percent of scenarios, you're straight up not just you're just not supposed to use it because you can't you can't get verbal consent from that person. 
Well, you save their life, and then if they decide to sue you or whatever, then you kill them. You know what? This, this explains everything now. I was wondering why I went to the pool and I never saw a fucking lifeguard in the last 10 years. No, dude, legitimately, some lifeguards have been fucking... Um... Let me see if I can find that case. There was one in Canada. There needs to be a fine line to better categorize what's annoying trying to flirt and criminal assault and harassment. And I, I agree. And that's... I'm Gen X. Um, Good for you. We we had a much greater category of annoying than exists now, right? Um, the kind of, you know, lawful but awful thing what, and annoying was just that annoying we, we were the generation that walked to our car at night with our keys wedged between our fingers and somehow we were that was a self-defense technique oh okay uh, but, uh, that uh, that that case that you had mentioned a moment ago that that was the canadian one i was thinking of she say uh, he saved a girl from drowning and then she sued him for one hundred fifty thousand dollars with the argument that uh, he could have turned up sooner, essentially. Uh, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, 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 what, what's your defense? Well, you see, Your Honor, I had to shift my wedgie out of my ass to sit there and make decision. Could I make a backstroke if I jumped off from about three foot off this chair to go save this bitch's ass in the water? God, you're fucking... You're, dude... If I'm, things get fixed here, I, I we need to invade Canada. Seriously. Yes, please. No, I'm not. It's not a joke. It's not a meme when I say I want to be annexed and turned into a vassal state or directly absorbed into the U.S. Canada needs to go. My country is run by morons. The vast majority of my countrymen are morons. This country needs to go. Well, I know the Frenchies on your side wanted to be their own state a couple years ago, so you already God, got their vote. Yeah. You, you, you want to know the fun fact about the idiots in fucking Montreal? People are like, oh, they're super based. They want to separate from Canada. No, they're not. They want to separate from Canada and take all the privileges of being part of Canada with them when they go. They're Marxists. They're not based on any level, you fucking retards. So they're like the Scottish nationalists. Yes, that's precisely it. They're like the Scottish nationalists. Oh. <clears throat> we were less fearful <laughs> of the world. I don't know what's happened. I'm, you know, not a social scientist. But yeah, there oh, definitely scientists needs... are not scientists. I hate this fucking contention. The <laughs> social sciences are not science. They do not measure objective fact they measure everything through the lens of observation which well to is be fair most science doesn't apparently do that anymore either so some sciences do but because you can't it's like 50 percent of uh of of results can't be duplicated nowadays so yeah. how, how does someone become a social scientist i'm, I'm curious is that a paid degree a little, uh, Probably. It depends on what country you come from, but in Canada, you can become a social scientist if you do your doctorate in sociology. You're basically. Oh, a for fuck's sake. Are you. Uh, well, okay. I'm that, not joking. That's wrong with your thing, man. That's exactly yes. what's wrong with your thing. No, this is the problem. No. People can get. Uh, people can get doctorates in sociology and anthropology and be considered social scientists. You're not a scientist. You're a fucking retard who does alleged intellectual guesswork so so how, how do they explain hypothesis and you know an educated guess they don't they don't dude yeah. they've never proven uh. it and take take the words of aiden paladin like people uh, aiden paladin has said it numerous times the social sciences will never prove anything period she likes the data. She loves reading the data. She's a social scientist herself, but she recognizes and accepts that they will never prove anything. It's it sounds like a uh, feminist's wet dream job, so that we can get paid to say what they think on on their mind. No, that's exactly it. That's what the social sciences are. It's uh, it's an entire it's an entire field of quote unquote science that is based around opinion. 
it's to why be... I didn't care about things like string theory and M theory and all that shit because they weren't proving it. I don't More... care about string theory and M theory because for the same reason Let's I don't be... care about feminist talking points. <laughs> God, every face that she makes. Is <laughs> look at this. Look at those fucking chipmunk teeth. <laughs> look at those chipmunk teeth, my dude. Prince, yeah, I think funny with a stroke. Oh, I think, I think we found Jabba's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Jabba, are you married? Yeah. Less You're fear Canadian? everywhere around. Appreciate that. There was more to the comment, but you know, there we go. Uh, someone else. So somewhat tangentially, I know yes, it's usually not, correct. it's not usually your thing, but I'm curious about it's your feelings about Arcane. I know the system allows that bullshit to happen in the first place, though. That is the problem. You mentioned Vi a few weeks ago and how you hated her in this episode makes mention of Jinx. So I assume you finished watching it by now. I'm not sure how intentional it was given today's topic, including the savior mentality and one of the episodes of Arcane being the boy's savior and the implication that there's very much that same thing going on in trying to save Jinx. The common interest in the manic pixie dream girl trope Jinx original game release was much closer to the sexy Harley Quinn knockoff than the Arcane version was. Makes me wonder how much the feelings of trying to save Jinx still applies for people viewing the show. Generally, such a desire comes with at least a vague idea of how to make things better, yet Arcane very strongly impresses on you that, no, there is no easy fix, and your good intentions are very likely to backfire. Um, it's because men are problem solvers. It, that's all there is to it. Men see a problem, they want to solve it. It's That's it. That's all there is to it. There isn't a deeper pathology. We're, we're not as complex as women make us out to be. I, you shouldn't like Canadians. <laughs> You're scum of the fuck. Dude, seriously. The only people that are more evil than Canadians are Khajiits. Oh, boy. I like. Is bacon. there interest in me talking? <laughs> <laughs> Maple what? syrup and Bret Hart. You see, only three <laughs> things from Canada that I like. <laughs> 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 talking about arcane and specifically what about arcane because i will talk about i've literally talked about arcane with people for freaking hours um who's your favorite arcane character is another one of those conversation starters yeah. i talked the, about on wednesday people... thing for those of you in the audience that are retarded it was a joke <laughs> fuck you i am going to go out on your mouth for the saying that <laughs> spit on yourself i am for being canadian done and done <laughs> People have seen the show. Um, yeah. Use that as um, is there interest in me talking about Arcane? Let me know, because I will talk at length about Arcane. Um, uh, next question. That is something I learned the long and hard way because there's so much abuse of oneself that happens because you put all the responsibility of that interaction on yourself. When Long and hard self-abuse. Really the only control you have is to decide is what you decide to do, how they react is entirely to the decision, and sometimes that decision is dumb, mean, and out of line. Yeah, I wish I'd learned that earlier as My well. My self-abuse is uh, largely focused on short bursts of explosive self-abuse. <laughs> Idea okay. that... Where you want the you fireworks, Amber? <laughs> <laughs> your goals for things, healthy goals, are about what you can control and not the other person's response or circumstances beyond your control. And that doesn't mean say whatever you want and too bad because that's that's not self-control, right? What it means is you're no, considerate. Uh, no, that's not it at all. Fuck me. No, 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 no. There are, as with in every other aspect of life, there are degrees of self-control. If you're controlled all the fucking time, nobody's going to like you. They're going to come to you for advice, probably, but nobody's going to enjoy hanging around you. Self-control is utterly pointless outside of a professional setting. You don't need to be, uh, you don't need to exercise self-control at every available opportunity. You can be a complete degenerate. I don't recommend being a complete degenerate, but you can be a complete degenerate at every available opportunity as long as you're not harming other people, and it's perfectly fine. Hello. Again, I don't recommend doing it, but you can. 
Like, this, this absurd notion that uh, being tightly controlled is somehow positive is fucking ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with being profane. There's nothing wrong with being loud. There's nothing wrong with being quiet. Like, I, different people have different personalities, and not everyone is given to, uh, given to self-control. Because some people are just more whimsical. Some people are extremely impulsive, and they're not going to change no matter how many times you scold them. I have buyer's remorse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've had the, uh, the few occasions on which I've had buyer's remorse, I refunded that fucking thing because fuck that fucking faggots involved in producing those nightmares. What the fuck are you talking about? Video <laughs> games. Oh, we're, video oh, games oh, we're, uh, we're talking about Gamergate again? Oh, God. No, it's not Gamergate, you faggot. You try it's to just... be compassionate. You do everything you can and recognize everybody brings their own baggage yep. into a situation as we saw in so many commenters yeah, um, just the baggage. and <laughs> you know something people don't seem to understand and they get prickly with me about when i come down hard come down so hard <laughs> okay <laughs> I don't like the term aggressive because I don't have any problem with aggressive. It, when, it's when it gets ad hominem, right? When it gets into attacks of uh, my or anyone else's entire character instead of you a have particular no character. point. <laughs> if I let one person do that, I have to let everyone do that. And I'm not prepared to do that. So sometimes, even though I would love to let somebody because I know they're in a difficult spot or they have pain, even when I'd like... Uh, why is it that uh, people feel that they can't pick and choose who to let do what? Because they... This is the fundamental issue with, uh, with idiots. <laughs> I, I, I legitimately, the first time... Uh, I am, I've been this way my whole life. I hear my thoughts narrated in my head as as I think. And the day I learned to, about 10 years ago that there are people who do not hear their own thoughts, they're just creatures of impulse, I went, what? Hmm. I, I was legitimately, like, it fucked with me for weeks. Who the fuck told you that? Because I hear my own thoughts as I'm speaking to you just so I don't fuck up my words. <laughs> That's exactly it. But, like, it's predominantly leftists who have this fucking problem, just so we're clear. Yeah, I was always told, own... think before I speak by many fucking people. Yeah. I used to think before I speak. Uh, I I you need, you need to I follow was... the guy's rule then. Just because you think it doesn't mean you have to say it. And since I've applied that, I've, I've been okay. <laughs> Life... Life is more fun when people are perpetually perturbed. Oh, you mean nuts? No, I mean angry, perturbed. Okay, but I get angry and nuts, so what does that make me? <laughs> I'm not. I mean, the people Unhinged? hearing my words are perpetually perturbed. Not, not, not me. That's why I said people, not I or. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's move on to this. Uh, Let it person. slide a bit. I can't, cause that's not fair. And it fair? life isn't fucking fair. <laughs> if, if life was fair, then things would be a bit different, I suppose. Yeah, I got no all this tchotchke in my fucking room. Why my next door neighbor has a brother who's on the street trying to figure out how he's going to eat a fucking pizza out of a garbage can. <laughs> Just yeah, based on the Ethan amount of pulp salt crap in her room, she has more than enough excess funding for bullshit. I'm at least seeing thirty thousand dollars worth of bullshit. At least. Good evening, Mr. Ralph. <laughs> <coughs> now she could have easily afforded a gym membership. Damn. Damn. She'd if be, I reward just be paying the people pointless who behave, dues. She'd never I mean that stupid baby exercise. Yoda thing in the background is probably thirty bucks by itself. Uh, that right there, when it first came out, was forty five, and that was at Target. Yeah, um, I can tell you right now that fucking 
if that's the same uh, Moogle stat, uh, plushie in the back, that thing was like 40 USD. Yeah, and that ET statue. And it's not worth me. the money. Star Wars is not worth the money anymore. No. Seriously, fuck Big Brand X. It's a waste of time and money. Yeah, uh, and then... I, I'm Go not ahead, sure that she paid for that stuff. I'm pretty sure she has a few Oh, and yeah. A lot I of skins. Holy fan. Oh, jeez, man. I mean, I know you're not joking. And I just, it makes me roll my eyes every fucking time. Because the very. I understand why dudes simp, they want to break off a piece, and they're desperate for it. But don't, guys. Don't ever simp for a woman. Don't ever simp for a man, either. Like, Otherwise, you'll don't... get Jack murphy I, I yes. just, I don't get simping. I'm just going to be honest with you. I just don't get it. I don't get why someone would try to be someone's online girlfriend when you're not even hitting that tail, and you're basically doing your own self at the end of the day. I... Man, I don't understand it either. I have never watched an e thought in my life, and you know right. why? Yeah, That's they're, they're honestly they're not worth the money. Why put the time, effort, and money, and everything into somebody who won't reciprocate and see you as a fellow human being or a teammate or a spouse or you know teamwork? Right, Thanks. right, right. When you could just go, you know, hell, back in the day, most people I know whose you know dads did this shit. They just went to strip clubs with three hundred dollars in their pockets, and sometimes they got lucky. And yeah. it was in front of their face; they could actually see it. They didn't have to pay for it most of the time. Well, I mean, you paid for it, but you got your money. Yeah, yeah. It. But what I'm saying, like, you know, you actually got to see the woman's figure in front of your eyes, not on a TV screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <sighs> I mean, I, I'm not personally like I don't. I've never been to a strip club at all in my life, and the women are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh god. <laughs> That's exactly it, dude, man. High class escorts cost less than what some of these sims pay. Yes, exactly. Yes, they do. If you're really that desperate for for attention, you can legitimately find very attractive women on escort websites to fool around with for I mean, heck, you could even do that phone line thing where you could talk <laughs> like what, 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 you could talk with sexy women on the phone or something. No, legitimately, if, if, you're, if you're into to 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 blonde blue, blonde hair, blue eyed uh, European women, go on to like Ava Elfie's website and fucking pay her to fuck her. Because wait, 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 hang on. How, how do you know of this place? Because hmm. I watch a lot of porn, my dude. Oh God! Like she legitimately fucks her fans if they pay her enough money. And like that, uh, I, I can guarantee fucking to you, that's worth. Like, you'll have more fun actually fucking a chick than you will watching a chick dance around in a bikini. Like, a, just no, stop it. Yeah, like stop. Amaranth, yeah. Get help. Uh -huh. All right, let's, badly. Let's well, so that's I'm so ashamed other people of modern to behave man. badly. <laughs> <laughs> you broke me on I thank you. <laughs> I just I'm so ashamed of modern men. I can't I can't help it. It's just it is what it is. And in the other corner you have the twenty something year old E thoughts. Yep. Yes. Who like, all uh, have boyfriends for the record. Yes. They're, all you fucking retarded ass simps, they're getting railed by the same guy nightly. It's not you. It's their boyfriend and or husband, whatever it is. And most like, of the time, they keep their little side job on the down low. Well, look at how long it took for it to come out that Pokimane had a boyfriend. Uh-huh. Because that will end up diverting some of their funds because they're like, oh, they're, they're actually off the market. So all these pledging hopefuls, it's just like, it's all a smokescreen. Yeah. That's it, why idol culture is so set. Uh, Japanese idol culture is so centric around the girls not being in relationships and not having sex, and because virgins, idols yeah. as seen are seen as quote unquote for the fans. <sighs> yep. And for the record, I'm not saying I support idol culture. I think it's fucking creepy as shit, but, like, I'm just explaining it. 
That's why they get uh, when these idols go off the reservation and like fucking get teen pregnant. Like they get angry letters from their fans. Do we still have an Alasi? I, I I think so. He's playing Pong on his Commodore 65. Yes, he is. <laughs> I think we had one of those way back when. Okay, well, since the stream's paused, let's play Ice Spy. <laughs> <laughs> and this More is pop, pop, crap. for this, right? Because so much of the problem with this groups of people versus groups of people thing is that society and, and the media have intentionally or unintentionally rewarded bad behavior. And I don't want to be a part of that. And yeah, that makes right. it difficult in you the short term. The it bad means I, I have to be prepared to, you know, do things that I know will, will you know, um, cause people who want to get away with shit to, to not watch my channel or give me a hard time sometimes. But I'm willing to do that because healthy conversation and people feeling like they can come somewhere that's fair. There's a difference between believing someone's fair and believing someone's right, right? I can't be right all the time. It's not possible. Um, I almost went Beelzebub there in my head. I did go Beelzebub in my head. I just didn't say it at like, you know, even someone as perfect as moi, um, you know, uh -huh. um, but I can't be fair. Fair is something I can control. So uh, one person said affirmative consent would be a great topic for a series of videos, given nobody actually does affirmative consent in the real world. There is this one Leanna Cares client. We talk about like adult content. And he is so utterly lovely every single time. He asked me if I'm comfortable with the subject material because it's, it's, you know, I'm fine. But the fact that he asked me every single time I have learned from, and I've actually adopted that, like if in doubt, check. He's so great about, because, you know, hey, you never know. And so that is someone who actually does practice affirmative consent in the real world. You shouldn't awesome. be talking awesome. about Good people exist uh no you shouldn't be talking about sexual shit with your fucking therapist what are you doing i, I i'm sorry what like, <clears throat> she's sending salvos out to see if she gets to be able to fuck him probably uh -huh. that's fucking weird like what are you doing my pussy is dry as the Sahara Desert. Wink, he's wink. getting permission to flirt with you, you fucking retard. That is weird. That is not a functional man. Um, have, have, have you looked at her? She's not functional either. <laughs> I'm well aware that this thing is a retard. She's a ginger. That That's the their default setting. Uh, the more we keep watching this, are we sure? Because it looks like she's blonde where she keeps dyeing her hair red and it keeps getting washed out every two weeks. But she's I mean, pale as fuck. She's, she, and she has the freckles all along her forearms if you've ever seen her ludes. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, she was pretty handsome in some time ago. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, the the mannish face has never really done it for me, but she had a nice body back in the day. And probably silicone tits. Holy hard to shit. tell. Hard to tell because, uh, in my experience, there are some women that have tits like that that are completely natural. But Piper has. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I don't know enough about Piper. All I know is she has Crohn's disease and is a very unfortunate human being. <laughs> who, She's who, a who also <laughs> has uh, who also has furry porn on DeviantArt. Yes. Oh, are you okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's a, I, Del she's a Delta fur showed fag. that to us. Delta showed that to us like two years ago. 
I'm glad I wasn't on that day. <laughs> uh, it was a shit on stream, but it was dis it was discussed in Discord, but it exists. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm glad I wasn't on the server that day, like actively paying yeah. attention because yeah. that's y you know how he found it. I I'll tell you. There's a tattoo that's in the same exact place on her furry conception. That same tattoo that's on the left uh, top uh, cheek of above her breast. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S same thing. Yep. Uh, Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <Not too. laughs> of course you would say that, you damn German <laughs> grout. I, I will say this now. I, I, I'm totally down for chicks to have tattoos. Not on their chest, not on their stomach, not on their ribs, not on their back, not on their face. You want to have tattoos on your arms and legs and hands? Do it. Be my guest for days. But what, for what about some numbers? Reason, <laughs> I... I had to think about that for a moment. <laughs> and then my brain, we immediately went into German mode, and I wanted to make a dark joke about Anne Frank, but I was like, no, I better not this one time. Oh. She this is a Jew. I found... uh, Jew. Uh, Diana Kersner is a Jew, you know. Yes. Yeah. That's not a joke. That's that's real. She's um, she's Jewish. I mean, the name Kersner was definitely not a total fucking indicator. <laughs> Oy vey! Like, <laughs> it, the only way her fucking name could be more Jewish is if it was fucking Schumacher. Rosenbaum. <laughs> yeah, Rosenbaum. <laughs> Uh. really interesting and i'm like huh i enjoy manly mondays not because i need it but it's fascinating to see liana navigate the space the point about avoiding people who are always the victim has been my top advice for any social connections for some time now not only who you approach for a romantic relationship but also who you're friends with and who you work with Leanna's right here. You know these people. The one that has many relationships that went really bad. Every boss was terrible. Every teacher was evil. The parents are more evil. And three out of four new friend groups in the last two years betrayed them. It may happen that a really wonderful person gets from one bad situation to the next one until they meet you, the one exception. And it is no, rather likely the person is not actually evil line. but needs help. No, that's, In that case, it's unlikely. That's, no, that's highly improbable. And people that say that are either like they're a minority of a minority of a minority or they're habitual liars. And I lean more toward habitual liar than I do believing a person that is making those accusations. Because once again, and I said it last stream where we talked about the unaccursed, I'm supposed to believe that the 30 women I have seen levy false accusations. Yes. Personally fucking experienced 30 women Levy false accusations against friends, friends of friends, family members, and complete strangers. I'm supposed to believe that those 30 women were all edge cases. Completely improbable. Borderliners. They, they, most of them have borderline syndrome. Precisely. Well, the borderline uh, personality disorder uh, doesn't exist anymore because the DSM-5 and to a small extent, four faced it out. Yeah, for, for me, it's a form of autism or ADHD. More or less, yes, you're not you're not incorrect. It has uh, the borderline fucking personality shit has a lot of commonality with both autism and ADHD. It has a commonality with most learning disabilities in point of fact, because learning disabilities largely cluster together. Usually if you have one, you have another learning disability. You don't just have ADHD. You often also are autistic or have dysgraphia or have dyscalculia or so on and so forth. How, how, how uh, far do, would you rate the chance that uh, Gingerella here has borderline syndrome? Hmm. 
I think it's far more likely that she is a high functioning sociopath. And an attention whore. Yeah. Uh, so well, many people in all honesty, think sociopaths, bigger than what they are. In all fairness, like yeah. I've never met a sociopath that wasn't narcissistic. So, you know, I, I'm I, sure I, they exist, but I've never met one. I kind of understand why she gets along with uh, Saggy Melons and Nerdette. They are the same crop. Wait, wait, hang on, time out here. She knows those two? Yes, dude. She streams with them and she just streams oh, with both God. Them. Oh, she streams with both God. of them. That's, that's why we've been talking about her lately. No wonder fucking Ray feels empowered. Yeah. God, she's got fucking flowers on shit now. Lovely. Yeah, this is this is one of the faggots she's talking to behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. Yes, yes. The person to tell her, you know, if you just keep on doing your thing, girlfriend, you'll get empowered. Yeah, so I can see it. That explains everything. That explains why Ray took off the makeup. She's wearing fucking glasses. She's trying to like this fucking chick now. Now I know why. Jesus. Yeah. Their streams are basically uh, intellectual carpet munching. Yeah. To give you context, bipolars, uh, bipolar women are perpetual social climbers. So when they latch on to something or someone new, they attempt to some extent to emulate that person. I've seen it numerous times. Uh, that's what Amber Heard is. She, that's what she's been doing lately. No, no. She's actually, uh, what did the lady call her? She called her, she said that she's severely narcissistic and she has, fuck, mm, it's a She has a disorder where she mimics people. Yes, it's, it's specifically a personality disorder, but I can't remember the full terminology right this second. But it, uh, it yeah, she's extremely narcissistic and she has some manner of uh, personality disorder. And it's just like, yeah, that's, yeah, I can't argue with that. I'm I'm inclined to believe that uh, Gingerella here would shit your bed too if you would do something she wouldn't like. No, you know? I don't. I, I don't uh, think Ginger. Uh, I don't think Gingerella would shit in your bed. She's much more likely, uh, based on how she behaves publicly, to be. Oh, the, he raped me. He raped yes. me mentally. She's, uh, she's much more likely to accuse you of abusing her uh, emotionally. You, you sure? She's the Are type you of sure? person that would probably abuse the guy in the relationship up, down, and up, you know, in the middle. No, 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 no. And then accuse she, him of doing something bad when in reality she's the one doing the bad things. That's that's precisely it. She's more likely to be the person who does the emotional abuse, and then she would accuse the other person of engaging in emotional abuse. Like I've seen too many women like this over the course of my life. Like they're all fucking insane, and I've seen lots of men that were raised by those women who are just like them too. So, so what you're trying to tell me is, is that this woman is nothing to Ethan Ralph, and she would never become a corn trough for him. No, 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 not at okay. all. Okay. With the way she eats, she will uh, diarrhea on the bed. Yeah. Oh probably. God. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably see me out. And, and with that lovely thought, I'm going to head off and get something to eat. <laughs> okay, take it easy, folder girl. Yep, yep. Just don't, just don't feast on the uh just don't feast on the entrails of your victims. It's uh, you know, you don't want the kuru shakes. No, never. All right, and we're back to a sausage Saturday. Yeah, so yeah, the misogynist party continues. Yeah, we not party. So that your yeah, presence alone will magically schnitzels? just fix right. everything <laughs> or that you could even if you we tried your sausage. very best. It's more likely that you will become the oh, villain God, in the dude. next chapter in the sad now story that gets told to the next person. Not saying stay away from and... <laughs> <laughs> Your assholes. Now I legitimately want schnitzel and some good sausage to go with it. I Motherfucker, go I am not fucking whipping it out for you again. No. <laughs> okay, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's just fucking <sighs> I hate food food is so delicious why must it be good I don't know I'm trying to lose fucking weight you're talking about food thanks you're welcome <laughs> you I had spam and oatmeal for dinner oh. I yeah, had I a had... giant size pizza and Italian salad and Italian bread buns 
Nice. Where the fuck did you go? Olive Garden? No, I'm a yeah, fat ass from Germany. There are pizzerias everywhere. But I you're in just fucking gonna... Germany. We're, I, I know you're not Italian. Yeah, I'm, I'm half Italian, half yeah. German. Yes, oh, yes. okay. He's the full funny. European access. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, your, yes, your yes. bloodline is the access powers. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. My blood is Mary Nero. Uh, <laughs> yep. I was just going to joke that uh, fucking. He's. Oh, God. My train of thought is gone. Continue. I, I have lost my. The joke is gone. Wake the fuck tell. up, you Dennis. Uh, look, you fucked me up now. Jesus Christ. Wake up. I did it. I did it. Messed up Prime's train of thought as well. We have 20 more minutes of this fucking hoe. Okay, no <laughs> cost, but be conscious what you're getting into and don't do it based on the assumption of you being a magical savior. Second tip, don't start any relationships on betrayal. Once again, not only who you approach for a romantic relationship, but also who you're... F how, how, can you, uh, how can you start a relationship with betrayal? That's like the... By sleeping with someone who's cheating. That's like the joke about uh, how it's... Ow! Damn it, you bitch. About how it's necessary to uh, get behind somebody before you can stab them in the back. What, what yeah, she well, means is, is uh, you know, when you get into a relationship with a guy who you clearly know is sleeping around with other people, but you feel it exclusive to say, stop, don't do that. You, you're with me now. That's what she means. It, mm, it could also just be the fact that she's talking about don't get involved with someone who's in a relationship causing them to cheat or don't cheat on your partner with someone else. So in other words, summed up by uh, the rule, don't commit adultery. Yes. <laughs> she can't say that, though, because it gives credit to the icky Bible. Mm. Friends with and who you work with, people who would betray something or someone with you or for you will not be deceptive to everyone else, but super trustworthy and loyal to you. That into includes terms like on a break. Yeah, on a break is a. Uh, I mean, okay, on a break. Yeah, n do not be prepared fuck that they around. may go. Do not fuck around <laughs> with someone that says they're on there's, a break. That's another uh, screenshot. <laughs> okay, because okay, my ex tried to pull this shit with me, and I got rid of her. And yeah, fuck that. No, if your girlfriend tells you that she needs a break, she wants to fuck other dudes or women. Don't uh -huh. allow either of those to occur. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Leave her on the curb. Let her sit there and stew in her own shit, and you can have the rest of your life. Goodbye. Yep. Go find someone that appreciates you enough to be faithful to you. Do not fuck with women or men, if that's your thing, who will cheat. And for the record, do not fuck with people who cheat. They will cheat on you too, you dumb bastard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> back, right? But yes, it is a decent rule, if you want no question, to avoid on a break, right? Honesty is really important. One of the things I like about Manly Mondays is putting this stuff out there and then having actual oh, men comment and agree. And I think that seeing, okay, this is resonating. There's different <sighs> opinions on this. You know, like last week about men crying. Well, that was a few weeks ago, but you know, the one about men crying. I did so much reading after that because the responses were all over the map. And when responses are is all she, over the map, that's when it's by like, the way. oh. What do you mean? Which streams? These manly Monday streams. Is she still doing these? Oh streams? yeah, this is brand new. Yeah, this is a follow up to a stream that yeah. she but, did. We watched her her stream from last Monday, and this is the follow up from Friday. So I, I got a I got a question. Did she did she start doing these streams before or after Kevin Samuels died? I believe these predate. Kevin Samuel's death. Okay, because I, I, it's a missed opportunity because he's dead now, but I would love for her to be trapped in a conversation with him because I feel like he could summarize her in just like one simple sentence. Oh, dude, I like. are you kidding me? If I hadn't forgotten she existed, I 10,000% would have super chatted uh, both of them and been like, hey, get on a show together. 
I would love to see Liana Kersner and fucking Kevin Samuels have a rational discussion. <laughs> it <laughs> would have been a disaster. It would have been a field day. I legitimately forgot this fucking useless whore existed. Or exists. Existed as past tense. Ah, uh, missed opportunity. Ah, uh, dude, you, you, you never regret the people you troll. You regret the people you didn't troll. Yep. Okay. Yes. There is a lot of diversity here. There's a lot of space for individuality. And you guys know that that's my thing. The individual first. Individuality first and foremost always. Um, but for something like this where there are so many people in agreement on the the fundamentals oh, no. of this, I think is really, Mis really important. Mr. Medicare is call uh, jokingly calling for the banning of Twitch in light of uh, the, the Buffalo shooting. Oh! I, I, I agree with that. Where's that tweet? Give what? Me one second. What? Uh, Breaking 911 says, New York Governor Ka uh, Kathy Hochul says, uh, live stream service Twitch is an accomplice in racially motivated Buffalo shooting. And Mr. Medicare retweeted it by saying, I think the only way to protect us all is to ban Twitch. <laughs> I'll copy the link to the tweet. Give me one second and put it in uh, Discord. That's fine. Well, I hope that nobody does that because that's the only thing we can stream freely on. No, no, I, I don't want it banned either, but it's just funny to me. That's all. Fuck you because guys, I just means, replied. Um, I put, I agree. Hashtag ban You know, it, it, it means there's something, there's something here. Um, another person agreed similarly, but asked a good question. Um... I think you more or less hit the nail on the head. The whole thing of a false accusation is that you didn't do the thing. So it's not really on you to do something to not get accused. The important thing to protect yourself is to be able to identify the red flags people are presenting and actually heed. Yes, my concern. Exactly. Java. Uh. Hmm. What they're telling you. I do have to wonder, though, if spotting the red flags is really as easy as people like to believe it is. I can't imagine many people would perceive themselves to be a poor judge of character. When it comes down to it, people have a lot more blind spots than they give themselves credit for. Um, interesting to see the wellness ones down getting to know people. Okay, so... <sighs> learning how to spot red flags... And I want to be very careful with this because some people are, they say naturally good judges of character, but I don't believe no, it's natural. I believe it's, it's nurture. Natural. People like uh, me have just been through a lot of shit. It's, it's, it's not natural. You learn to judge character through having, uh, through experiencing adversity at the hands of others. That's how you learn to judge other people's character. We've made a lot of mistakes and gotten burned a lot of times. So it seems like a natural ability is actually learned behavior. And, um... So, normal human development. Yeah, one... I was just saying, so normal human development. One of the things I'd love to do is bring in... Somebody I learned a lot from, but because of the nature of their job, it couldn't be on an open YouTube forum. There are certain red flags, as as the previous commenter said, the idea that everyone, everyone's against them. Now, it, it, could, it could possibly be true. I have a few friends. They just had really crappy luck, but see, they see eventually this, learned. This right here. She this right again. here. She's, no, 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 no. This right here. It's 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 so unlikely that you know these these men have been fucking and she doesn't say men but you know she's talking about men. It's everyone's against them, and then she starts talking about her female friends and she doesn't say female friends but you know she's talking about her female friends. 
and she immediately makes exclu- excuses for them. This is this fucking mean girl shit that has to fucking stop. Men are punished more by men and women than women ever will be or could ever hoped to be, uh, hope to be. That's Fuck right. Losing weight, fat ass. Exactly. I am losing weight, nigga. I've lost 25 pounds so far. Where in your ass? <laughs> I'm a thighs. Your thighs? Oh, why the fuck did I see you at KFC last week, motherfucker? <laughs> you were going down that fucking chicken bone like it was a fucking dick. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, you learned well from Testy and Zeit, guys. Your banter has improved greatly. She. <laughs> she. We were gravitating towards people who took advantage of them because they have low self-esteem. And they're working on that. And it's, it's true not that about hurt low people self-esteem hurt people. Though. They don't choose those partners because they have low self-esteem. They choose those partners because for whatever fucking reason, they enjoy the abuse. They enjoy the drama. They're caught in a loop, they're caught in a feedback loop, a negative feedback loop at that. And for whatever creepy fucking reason, they enjoy it. So they stay in that loop. It's not about self-esteem. I've seen proud, confident people stuck in those feedback feedback loops. It's it has nothing to do with self-esteem. Okay, is is there something that she's going with this? Because I'm bored. Oh yeah, she'll get there. She's a retard. Oh great. Yeah, she's one of those. And this is who Ray looks up to. Yeah, ah. Hochul, uh, Hochul wants to fuck with Amazon, dude, man. It's uh, it's not gonna end well, but yeah, good luck. Yeah, let me check Amazon stock. I'll do that right quick as we're watching. I think somebody should tell her that we are talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have some shit planned behind. I can't talk about it publicly, what? but I. Uh, it are, we, are we trying to get the channel struck again? No. Yes. No. Yes. That's not. She says I want she to see her meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> she said she would settle for you, Brian. <laughs> okay, okay. One, if she doesn't like me at my worst, she can't handle me at my best. So fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have heard that argument from women so many times. You can handle me at my worst. You don't deserve me at my best. Bitch, that's an excuse for your bad behavior. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna use it against them every time now. As you should. But there is a difference between people who hurt people inadvertently and are incredibly sorry when they do. And people who hurt people <laughs> that and guy's find a bump it funny love for a or get a sense of power out well, of it. And I do think that's where that's the good. betrayal element of the last comment comes in. Uh... If you see somebody do doing something to someone else, assume they're doing it to you as well. I have a big issue yep. with gossip <coughs> for that reason. When people just shit talk people behind their back. Now, I want to be very clear no, what I mean no, by no. gossip. Then what, what about in public? <laughs> Yeah, dude, like legitimately, you have a problem with gossip, but you go on streams with other women and gossip. Um, yep. Motherfucker. <laughs> and an alleged pedophile. Yes. yes. Oh, no. Don't tell me that's true. Yeah, she streams with just some guy. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll, um, uh, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, that's... Uh, mm. 
Yeah, he's a creepy motherfucker. I've been saying for like a year now, he's he's a creepy fucking leftist. But he's been known as a leftist for three fucking years. Yeah, and and it's just when he defended that that choir shit, I was like, oh motherfucker, this guy's going to self destruct soon. I got to keep my eyes on him. And then that show with Nick Ricada happened, and he just <laughs> fucking ex- his head exploded. His brain matters all over the floor, and he just started typing away like a fucking angry fucking miglet. It just yes, it's called years himself. of therapy slowly eroding away. Yes, <laughs> and he just he went right back to his leftist roots. Uh, uh. The funniest part of that whole thing, though, is just how abs he was so so ass mad. So angry that he soft blocked the vast majority of his followers. Uh, according to Social Blade, about eighteen thousand. Yeah, like I said, the vast majority. Because everybody talks about other people. There's that's correct. Gossip. There's the gossip. Which I believe is inherently malicious. It's the... No, gossip is not... No, 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 no. Jokes... Okay, let's be fucking clear here. When women talk about other women behind their backs, yes, they're being malicious. When guys say fucked up shit about each other to each other's faces or behind their backs, it's a joke. It's literally a fucking joke. It's literally a joke. I've never met... No, that's not true. I've met four men over the course of my life who gossiped like women maliciously behind other guys' backs. The rest of the guys that did that shit say the same shit to a person's face that they say behind their backs, and 99.9% of the time, it's literally just a joke. It's probably a fucked up joke because that's how guys process absurdity. We make dark jokes. Why is Douglas Ernst ass mad at JDA? Because... Douglas Ernst clearly wanted JDA's dick, and JDA is a married Catholic man, so he doesn't want to fuck Douglas Ernst. The money hasn't came in yet. He probably does. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Jewish Douglas version of gossip. Is a fake uh, Christian. Yeah, no, I. Horror. Douglas Ernst is not someone I consider Christian. I, I just. He's another one of these EVS derangement people that I stay away from. Yeah, like Matt Barr and Billy Besco. Women talking about gossip negatively, really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a that surprise. Going on? Like, oh, that's a shocker. Women gossip. It, it was so funny too. Uh, the reason why I'm 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 so convinced I know what kind of person Leanna Kersner is is because she's a mirror of my grandmother. She's the exact same person, and I love my grandmother for the record. Mm. May she rest in peace. But Leanna Kersner is exactly the same person my grandmother was. She's right down to the oh, I don't like gossip and then five minutes later she'll be in someone's dms pounding away on her keyboard saying horrific shit about another human being that's exactly the kind of human being my grandmother was hmm. so so your grandmother was one of the olsons from the little house on the prairie <laughs> pretty much yeah like i again I, I love that woman she she was a phenomenal cook, and she was immensely instrumental in shaping who I am now, but that woman had an evil streak, like most women. Gossip, malicious gossip is is actually one of the, you know, with the commentaries, one of the worst sins you can commit. And that's not the same as... Really? It's one of the worst things you can do, okay. Bearing false, uh, technically speaking, it's bearing false witness, which mm. the Bible is very specific about. I know she's not making a biblical reference here. She's using the word sin colloquially. Oh my God, did you hear about Prime's fat, disgusting toad face? You mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. Yes. He looks 
He, he looks like a younger Rod Farva from Super Troopers. No, no, we already we already solved this the last time. Do I have to pull the picture up again of Nikado? Nick, Nikado Avocado? Yes. yes. Do I have to pull it up again? <laughs> oh, did you miss that one helmet? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me get the pictures. We need, we need a side-by-side. <laughs> Prime is legitimate child. The legitimate child of Kermit and Miss Piggy. Oh. Uh, well, I, uh, I I must... I am pleased to inform Prime then that his father cut up his mother and sold her at the meat market. And I have the evidence. Um... That's not the same as having a conversation about somebody because you're legitimately concerned or going, oh my God, this person is driving me crazy because you're trying to strategize. That's not malicious. It's the, oh my God, did you see what they did? Kind of gossip that if they're doing that to other people, they're doing it to you. And if, if you can handle that, fine. But, you know, part of the reason I, I put as much out there as I do is, you know, th there are certain things I keep private in big part because they involve people and it's not my story to tell. I had to sit on the Joss Whedon thing for a decade because of that. Um, what? She's Sat on it? She's claiming that she was a Joss Whedon insider, which means she's complicit in that whole nonsense yeah that's what i say if you sit on evidence of sexual abuse you're complicit in the crime liana <laughs> also yes prime this is what your 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 father did to your mother if you are indeed the uh offspring of miss piggy and kermit the evidence speaks for itself oh, we'll see we'll see about that in just a minute here let me let me get the picture up <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but, you, you know my you opinions point, who pointed that out by the way prime like I, I i know you said it the other night but i forgot so guys oh god of course it was like it's been about <laughs> because let you rest you know, when, when people, I don't want people to feel like or think I'm a completely different person not on YouTube. I, I, I hate that when, when things are like that. Unless someone's like obviously performing a character that's different. Like Betty Bowers, what's her name? The, 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 the lady that does like the, the satirical stuff is just like a 60s housewife. Obviously that's character, right? But that's not what I do. So I, I put a lot out there and I, I take a lot of crap and I've been struggling with the, um, you know, with It's Not Therapy launching, whether I should back off on, on the, the, the takes. And then I thought, you know what, I can't do that because the people, part, part of the reason people trust me is because they think they have a general sense of me. And so I want to continue to voice my opinion about things I think are important. And, and you guys know there are times I'm like, this is not important. Like I just refused to talk about the Lord of the Rings Amazon series because I dip my toe in. I only have so many spoons. It's not important enough for me to fight it. You know, but yeah, I'll, I'll think about the red flags thing it, it is not it is simple it is not easy it takes a lot of learning to spot the different signs right when you there are... are some things that yep 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 who are these people oh that's me on the left oh and that's Nikocado Avocado, the famous internet superstar who eats <laughs> food <laughs> and also uh, has gay sex with his half brother. What? what? Wait, what? What? He he legitimately fucked his half brother. That's what Java I thought said. That was a meme. Holy shit! 
Oh, oh. bro, what are you doing? Is Nicocado related Wait, to the are Royal you the Ops? product of an ass baby? <laughs> <laughs> Prime, but, what? are you born as an ass baby? Why? Well, he's gay, right? Nicocado avocado. Yeah, yeah, he sex. is, yeah. So you're an ass baby if you're his <laughs> illegitimate. No, no, I'm not, I'm not the product of this ass. <laughs> Okay, Jeez. so you, you're just uh, familiarly related. You're not necessarily the same. Fuck if I know if I'm really... I hope to God not. <laughs> he didn't sire you. You're just related. <laughs> all, all I know is... Uh, and, and now that the government has glowy on me, I'm just going to claim that I'm Nikocado Avocado. <laughs> this, is, this, is my, this is my part-time thing I do on the internet now. I, As I, you should. Yeah, I think I saw you before on that uh, surveillance video of the Bo uh, Columbine school. Ah! Did, you, ah! did, you, did, did, did you or did Ruckus or did Zeitgeist edit that Gat Hanzo pick to be you? Uh, that would be Cider who did that. As I recognize that photo, that's Gat Hanzo. Yeah, because that, that, that photo I did uh, when we were doing the cheeky breaky shit back uh, last year, and uh, yes. I, I, did a, I did a photo of myself for Ruckus, and he's like, oh my god, and he shared it to the public and fucking Discord, and, and Insider's like, oh my fucking god, I know what I'm doing to this, and then he shared the picture in there, and he's like, he called, he called, he called me Little Bayleaf. That's what the full <laughs> fucking picture says, is Little Bayleaf. Little fucking Little Bayleaf. Dude, man, there can be only one. Yes, you have to. You have to slay him. You have to take his head. You, you know how I slay him? It's called lose weight. Call him a fat ass. <laughs> yes, you get him to chase you. I I don't think he can. And catch I'm very up on hesitant point. because it's all no. He, that's how you slay him, right? He dies. So of a heart think about attack. how to make yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Last question for for Feedback Friday. I'm currently dating someone who's very woe is me until anyone. However, I am aware that there's a genuine history of sexual abuse starting from childhood. Should I still regard this as a red flag in terms of my own safety? Additionally, I am worried about how to extricate myself from the relationship if it does break down. There's a history of suicide attempts, and even a bad argument causes them to self-harm, once to the point that they were hospitalized. So it's a genuine Get concern out. that if we do break up, this Get person who I care about will wind up dead. Do you have any advice? Okay. Wow. Okay. Get out. Get out now. Do not date crazy. Not ever. Run, bitch. Run. Run, what, bitch. Was this run. a memento she wrote to herself? Because I feel like she's reading shit she jots down. Like, legit. She's reading comments off her YouTube channel, is my supposedly. understanding. So, yeah, yeah, supposedly. But uh, to, to say something, too. Um, this sounds like one of those. Yeah, run, dude. Yeah, exactly. Fucking run. Like, do not date men don't sleep with crazy either don't date them don't fuck them don't talk to them the moment you know they're crazy run the fucking other way run don't walk fucking run that's how you get dead mm-hmm exactly Run, Luke, run. And right, this goes um, for dudes that date dudes, too. Don't date and fuck crazy. Run the other way. Get out. Yeah, <laughs> teleport. <laughs> teleport, yes. Teleport is absolutely <laughs> the best option, but if you do not have the teleport option because you haven't figured out how to hack life yet, run. Well, you can jump out a window, but you got 50 50 chance that you're going to survive it. Yeah. You uh, fenestrate I, yourself. <laughs> yes. I like it just legitimately. I, this sounds like one of those scenarios where the man is legitimately in danger of being harmed in his sleep. Do not put yourself in that scenario ever. Uh, helmet, are you yeah. available tomorrow or? Are you busy? Yeah, I should have time. Is this before or after you have to go to your German convention? <laughs> yes, he has to uh, 
smoke some cigars of Jewish origin, if you know what I mean. No, 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 no. I, I heard every Sunday they join up in uh, traditional garb and do the Reichsdeck march. <laughs> the only thing I, I do on Sundays is ride the whale <laughs> or the buffalo, if you want. To. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I'm uh, kept now. <laughs> I'm I'm hunting for the white way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, first advice when dealing with somebody with suicidal ideation, um, I say to everybody, and this is what I was I said to somebody, and this is what I was told by an expert in the field: uh, don't promise ever to keep it a secret and not tell anyone you you have to as long as there is life there is hope now obviously this person needs needs help now right and <laughs> relationship I'll get to the relationship, but first, this is a human being who clearly needs help. If they're self-harming, that's an indication something, it can't wait. This is somebody in a really deep amount of pain. Sexual abuse is a particularly complex thing. Notice I didn't say difficult. I said complex. Why is it always sexual abuse with you? What the fuck is What's that song? What's the Jewish music in the background? <laughs> I, I, I think we can hear your mother's TV. Oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'll fix that now. Suicidal ideation and previous suicidal behavior is not the same. <sighs> yeah, that's definitely mom's TV. Yeah, she's got the speakers cranked. Meet your again. mic before you beat her. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never. I would never I would never mute my microphone before I beat my mother. And any trauma gives people difficulty telling the present yes. from the past. Time trauma does funny things to time. This this is the problem so, that I have with these yeah. people. Uh dude man, that's exactly it. Claiming that suicidal ideation and previous suicidal behavior are, they're not remotely alike. Block the bitch. <laughs> oh no, some cat girl on Twitter just followed me. Uh, Unless depends. she's based. Depends. <laughs> Is she based and attractive? If so, troll her. It'll be funny. <laughs> but aren't most cat girls she males and lady boys? Uh, yes. Depends That's on why I went with my first response there. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, so... You know, you know what just happened, don't you? Nick Fuentes just followed Java. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nick, Nick Nick Fuentes is preparing to send the Groiper army to deal with us, the people making fun of his precious Ethan Ralph. Well, we're not making fun of him right now. We're making fun of the feminism. <laughs> As certain arguments, certain oh. Situation, oh, no. certain smells, even certain tones of voice. She doesn't dress like a cat. She just has cats on her profile. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh no. I had suicidal ideation when I was a teenager. Nothing came of it. It was like a ghost hunt. Yes, that's correct. Uh, I had. Shouldn't say it, but I've said it before, so it doesn't matter. It's not like I can hide it. Someone will find those videos eventually and watch them. Um, I have. One, a single suicidal, a uh, suicidal, a suicide attempt in my life. And it was, uh, well, let's just say it fucked up my liver. <laughs> wait, 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 uh, wait, hang, hang on, hang on. You said to find those videos. What, what is this on YouTube? No, no, I've talked about it before in videos. Uh, okay, I, I won't go any further with that, but holy shit. Yeah, well, she that's seems good. based, actually. Well, that's good. Like, uh, based people, if they can handle trolling, like they can handle a joke. Then they're 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 absolutely follow them back. Like that's the way I function at this point. If a someone who appears to be based follows me, I'll say something very rude or very like something that I find funny, but most people would find rude. 
And uh, if if they like the comment and respond with something equally rude, I, they get an immediate follow. It's just the way I am. Like I like people that are uh, that enjoy dark humor as much as I do. Guys, in an unrelated note, uh, I searched my preferred adult sites, <laughs> and I fo found a shit ton of loots of Liana Gerstner. <laughs> Really? really? Oh, yeah, really? Oh, oh no! Okay, you gotta post them in the NSFW. Oh no! <laughs> the there, there are too much pictures. I I can't uh, take you. Post links. Post links. You don't, have to, you don't have to post the uh, the the individual pictures. You can post the search results because I want to see how ridiculous this rabbit hole gets. She really was a pick me girl. Oh yeah, most of them were. Most of the girls from Gamergate were pick me girls. And it seem, seems like she she went to conventions barely uh, mm. closed. Holy lord, what a hooker! <laughs> I, I, I have a I have a I have a question for Jabba. I have a question for Jabba. Did this person have a background of a cat that says "Black Cat Coffee Shop"? He'll, he'll know, and then he'll call me a perv. Watch. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. This can cause a person to flash back. Um, All right. This, this meme of the flashback is, I hate it. It's a Hollywood uh, sensationalization of what actually happens. You don't flash back. Like, you don't re-experience the memories. What it actually is, is your brain, due to the traumatic experience, has been reprogrammed to a small degree. And what happens when you get into a situation that reminds you of that situation is your brain automatically puts you in fight or flight mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah pervert. pervert. <laughs> uh, like, it, it, and they're not... In the present anymore. There's some. <laughs> I know it. I fucking know it. Who is it? I, I found. I, I'm not gonna say it all out, but I, I found the person instantly on Java's followers. So it's the, Put it's it in the Discord. Discord. Okay. Put it in Discord. I need to know. I'm fucking curious now because you're laughing. So there's got to be something funny in there. Uh, well, you. It's funny when you click on the Etsy link and you read the profile. Oh, fuck me, that name. Okay. Peace will win, fear will lose. Uh huh. She has a shop. Of course she does. Yeah, but when you click on the Etsy link and then you go, okay, I'll just post this right here. I won't give out her name or docs, or I'll just post this. And you can laugh at this, okay? That, that's, that's on the Etsy about me. Coffee is my favorite beverage and gives me motivation for creativity. I grew up my whole life uh, having generalized and social anxiety disorders and depression, so I was always different and very shy. As a little girl, I've always loved arts and crafts. The older I got, the more I knew it was my niche and my purpose in life. I tend to learn on my own at my own pace, and being creative comforts me. My black cat Onyx is the shop's uh, inspiration. Black cats are at least as, uh, are the least likely to be adopted or become abandoned by owners because of the stigma. Uh, Onyx was found as an abandoned kitten during hiding in a bush by the front porch of my parents' house and chose uh, me to be his. Every cat owner knows that you don't choose the cat, the cat chooses you. Oh, okie dokie. Yes. Yes. By the way, oh. she mixed up black sheep with cats. That's correct. Ah, <sighs> millennials. Well, you expect a my fucking... cat chose the neighbor lady, but the neighbor lady wasn't interested. So <laughs> <laughs> you expect the woman to research something before she fucking comments on it? Come on now. I <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, moving on. We're in the past, and that's very hard for the person to remember accurately because. Well, they didn't mean to do that, right? The first 
my 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 absolute first concern here is for this person who is self-harming now i understand that there are access issues hence why i do liana cares right it's an affordable service for people that either <laughs> I'm getting a lot more clients who conventional therapy has not worked for. And I actually reached out to one of, one of my, one of the experts I deal with in terms of, of best practices and policy. And I'm like, why, why am I getting results for people in one or two weeks when they've been in years of therapy? And, and what he basically told me is it's a completely different thing. It's the difference between theory and detachment and people who have been in similar situations and so they know what it's like. That was the short version. He was much smarter about it. But self-harm is a really complicated thing. And No, it's not. It's not complicated. You can't it spend you, you <laughs> If you're spending all your time worried that the person you care about is not going to be around, you're not actually spending time with them when you're with them. And this is a the situation is that, to mean? that is, is unsustainable in a lot, it's a of, vague, in a lot of ways. It's a retarded way, um, so a woman way. I am very hesitant to give advice about not the relationship. Present in the moment. I'm okay. Okay. Pause. Okay. Good. One. Yeah, what okay. a thinker indeed. Okay. We're both living in a place where we have to pay bills. Power, water, you know, other utilities. Mm -hmm. Either one of us is employed. 90% of the time, it's a male. Okay? Mm -hmm. How am I going to be emotionally connected to know what the fuck you're going through when 8 out of fucking... What was it about yeah 16? 16 yeah 16 hours i have no idea what the fuck you're doing i'm supposed to drop everything at fucking work and just fucking be like texting you constantly to see are you okay are you okay are you okay yeah, it's, it's it, unrealistic yeah, Un fucking in, realistic it's it's absurd because the notion and leon is not making this argument for the record but it, it's just it's <sighs> Do not date that level of crazy. Tell them to get help. And if they kill themselves over you telling them to seek aid, that's not your problem. You're not their fucking ther Like, I know dudes, like, I've, I've had this problem in my past as well. I've dated crazies that I thought I could fix. You can't fix crazy. Crazy, to, to, to misappropriate and, you know, paraphrase... A, uh, a quote from a decent uh, movie, Forrest Gump. <laughs> crazy is as crazy does. Uh, Helmet, you found something else on the internet, didn't you? <laughs> What'd you uh -huh. find? Uh -huh. What'd you find? Uh -huh. Come on. Share with the class. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Share with the class, motherfucker. I want to laugh, too. Uh, here we go. I've, I found a picture of Liana Kersler on a convention and <laughs> and, and? and an Asian <laughs> an Asian guy uh, who's attempt to signing her buttocks and the Asian guy looks like Tim Lim. <laughs> oh God! Oh oh oh! oh. 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 Right, that might, that okay. might actually connect some dots here. We mean not. We need to do that picture. <laughs> Post it's it, so post funny. it, motherfucker. It looks so funny. <laughs> Put yeah, it in I, Discord. Do oh, it now. boy. I, I, it's, it's in the Not Safe for Work. Uh, the link is in the Not Safe for oh, Work. Oh, hell no. Okay. I, I gotta go to a cognitive browser. For you, you will easily find the picture. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so, hell no. <laughs> oh, let me let me look that. We gotta Timothy, see what Tim Lim looks like now. Timothy God damn Lim. it! Timothy <laughs> Lim. Let me go look him up. <laughs> oh come on! This is... oh, Ima on. imagine oh, Douglas Ernst no. sitting in the corner. And no, watching. it is not him. It can't be. No, it's it's definitely not him, but it's similar facial structure. 
No, I'm looking at the glasses. It looks exactly like him, dude. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post it in the same section. Hang on. I, I, fucking a. I would love to participate, but I can't because I had to kill that browser off. Hang on, just let me let me just fucking oh fuck hell I can't put it in this. I don't want to go to this. Get me on that. Damn it, helmet! You fucking link. It's it. Um, um, I, I'm I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> damn you! <laughs> damn you! <laughs> funny. You you. You, we, you know, you know what you have to do now. You have to put those side by side. I'm trying yeah. to. You got to give me a second here. You got to give me a second here. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Thank God. you for that, sir. Don't <laughs> let you filthy fucking degenerate. Up yeah, there. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? The picture's gone now. No. Okay. Don't worry. I won't show it, sir. Give. Give. I will not show me. it. My Give mama me a week always or said, two oh, research and I find a real nude of her. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Elasi. My mom always said, folks like a box of chocolates, you never know which ones are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's it, there's there's a plaque that was on the, uh, the co- uh, wall of the cottage that we used to rent whenever we wanted to go vacationing. Um. And the cottage, the plaque on the cottage wall said, uh, women are like candy bars, half sweetness, half nuts. <laughs> and I find that to be particularly accurate. Okay, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> okay, so if you look at the not safe work session... <laughs> Oh god, it might actually be him. <laughs> it's it's oh, possible god. it might be him. I'm dying. Oh dear god. <laughs> yes, thank you, helmet. Thank you. Thank yeah, you for all yeah. this. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> just just imagine in the in that picture. Douglas Ernst watching like a cuck out of the corner. <laughs> oh my god. Not all of them do, Java. Some of them do. <laughs> Some of them are a mystery. Oh. Holy shit. Itself, because I don't know enough particulars. Um, ideally this person who you care about commenter will get into this is more of an it's not therapy question but um the person will get into treatment of some kind and the other things will take care of itself they're they're able to take the ups and downs of life more you know they're able to absorb and process much better and so everything else will take care of itself. That's probably the best answer I can give. That's the best advice I can give is this person needs needs a new path now. And the reason I say needs help because no one gets to determine who needs help. Everybody's the hero of their own story, as I say, and it's not therapy. But if someone's self-harming, if someone's, you know, using thoughts of suicide as, as a as a sense of control, like over over the circumstances, that that person needs a new path. They deserve a new path. That's correct. And they should so, seek a new path. I mean, I, I commenter, I don't know if you're on Twitter or you know anything like that. If you can contact me uh, privately, um, fill out the Leanna Cares form or, or something like that so we can talk about this further. Do you, in the do you guys think I below, can get a but... therapy lesson? Yeah, that's... Uh... Uh, <laughs> if I ask her... Yeah, CBR, mm-hmm. that's exactly it. Like, these crazy bitches need to check themselves into asylums. This woman needs to do less thinking. It's causing her severe brain damage. Yeah, probably. I, I, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day... All I see is a fat woman 
who's jaded because she can't go to conventions in a skinny ass thong and get glares from men anymore. That's all I'm saying. She could. She could. She get on a stairmaster. Stop drawing on your eyebrows. <laughs> Legitimately, get on a stairmaster, get some weights, tone your body up. How, how old is she again? About almost forty. Forty-four. Forty-four. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, no, no. It's it's past the prime, dude. Uh, uh, if she can lose weight correctly in the correct at the correct speed, she can actually avoid the skin flap issue. Uh, it's hard to do, but if you lose weight slow enough. You can actually avoid the distended skin problem. Yes, I know. I have to do it myself. I'm 60 pounds over fucking weight. Dude, yep. That's where I am, and I'm slowly losing weight. I've lost 25 so far uh, over the last year. And, and you're a baker. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have to lose weight. I yeah, have you, to lose You guys weight figure out which techniques work and let me know. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't do I, fasting if you if you have uh, genetic markers for diabetes. Otherwise, you'll no, don't. put you you'll put yourself in ketoacidosis. Yes, Ooh. you'll put yourself in ketoacidosis and you will die. Period. Like that shit will kill your liver. It will kill your kidneys, and then you will die in a horrific way. The best way to lose weight is to eat healthier, less processed foods. Uh, don't consume corn syrup. Avoid. If you're going to eat sugar, eat natural sugars. Uh, avoid large amounts of sugar because while you do need carbs, you don't need the amount of sugar that goes into a lot of shit these days. Like, it's too much. Avoid candy like the plague. As fun as it is to eat, as tasty as it can be, candy is super bad for you. Damn it. <laughs> yep. And don't snack throughout the day. Eat smaller meals instead. Don't eat large meals. What you do is you eat in. Uh, if you eat three large meals a day, what you should do instead is eat four small meals a day. Hmm. Best way to lose weight is not be a fat, greedy pig. Yes, there's also <laughs> that, Chaba. That's easier said than done. Huh? Yes, don't be a fat, greedy pig. So I, I just what, you, tell you that what you're my... saying is don't go truffle hunting in people's butts like Ethan Ralph. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I just want to say, if I sound slow, my connection. I'm doing a full Windows security scan because of Helmet sharing that fucking link. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I can do with the amount of information I'm given there. This is obviously a much longer conversation. Do you guys think so? That's where I'll leave it there. Heavy any feedback, right? Do we think what? Huh? Do you guys think she still has the Tim Lim signature on her ass? Yes. Uh, you, you know she what she probably did? She looks she like she hasn't bathed that section of her ass ever since. Uh, <laughs> I, I, crazy enough, she may have made him sign it so that way she could go to the tattoo parlor to overlay it. Oh, I was just going to go there with the joke, can you beat me to it? <laughs> imagine, imagine he was the inspiration to come in America. <laughs> I mean... Oh, fuck, I see it. <laughs> I see it. He mm. had a fine-ass body back in the day, dude, so, you know, I couldn't blame oh, Tim Lim for that if that's true. Let me, let me, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I think you're onto something there. <laughs> Blue eyes, blondish reddish hair. Oh shit! Glad I saw the taste in the common America for everyone. <laughs> what? what? I, 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 hey, I sold all my copies, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, but what, now we know that Tim Lim likes to draw ugly women beautiful. Now we got Vicky, and now we got fucking <laughs> Lena <in a> Cursor. <laughs> Now, now, now it just makes me wonder who the fuck the other two are. Is the hey, but... American one then? Maybe it's Saggy Melons. <laughs> well, there's a red-headed one and there's a blue-headed one, so I don't know who the fucking blue-headed one is. 
okay? <laughs> Five five a week. You know, like I said, this Fuck. is gonna continue. There's so, so, so many comments. Uh, you know what's coming? Help support this channel. Become a monthly patron. Patreon.com slash Leanna K. Or buy a one-time Leanna Care session for someone who can use it but can't afford it. Coffee.com slash Leanna K. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Do you like how <laughs> not, she talks not after like this video. Do you like how she? I like how she talks like a downy at the end of that. She's trying to do the ra uh, the, the 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 radio show like uh, sing songy end to a to the segment, but she just sounds like a downy. <laughs> oh god! I just realized that her little anime character actually drew in the gun lumps. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! You got the yeah, gun dude. Lump. Ugh. Those are gunt lumps. Like, I thought it was shirt folds at first, and then I realized, oh, <laughs> those are gunt lumps. Oh, no, 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 Yeah, no. yeah. <sighs> sure wish and I knew Fuma. which, uh, which video it is that I was looking at earlier that's private now. Oh. Mm. I had something open in another window, and then uh, when I restarted the browser, it now is... Just uh, video check unavailable. That. This video is private. Why the fuck don't they at least tell you which channel you were looking at? Check <laughs> check your history. Probably should tell you the stream still. Or whatever the video was. Yeah, unless they've... Uh... Yeah. Mostly? <sighs> unless, they've what? Revoked, uh, unless they've revoked all access to it, it should still be able to... YouTube should still be able to give you a channel name or post date oh let's see what it was it was razor fists playthrough of jedi knight oh yeah it got eaten son of a bitch yeah they got a uh, some kind of strike if i remember correctly god youtube because i was in the middle sucks. of watching it it went why in the hell can you not fucking Play video games on YouTube sometimes. Because most of the companies that hold those IPs are extremely litigious. You have to remember that most of these companies who have made uh, video games that are no longer around were bought up by Blizzard and EA. Uh, and their properties I, I, are just sitting in the EA vault. I have an update. Um, the signature on the ass was not Timothy Lim. Oh, it was it was Frank Cho. Ah, uh, that's Frank Cho. Uh, yes. I was able to I was able to analyze the picture and see that the <clears throat> Cho name was right behind the. It's, uh, it's much. That's much less funny. That's a damn yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been way more funny if it was Tim Lim and Tim was like, yeah. <laughs> hey, like, yeah, it's the, the stream will probably be down because of something stupid we said, so we can go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, it would have been a way more funny outcome if it were Tim. Just because Tim was just like, look at this fucking Amazon bitch. Ah, damn. I'll sign her ass. But if it's just Frank Cho, that's, I don't know, that's a lot less funny. Uh, well, that's how things go, Einberg. Reality is often not as funny. <laughs> yes, it's so disappointing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Helmet's going to have a lot of spank big material tonight. Yes. <laughs> yes, he will. She's not my size class. <laughs> oh, she's not fat enough for you, huh? Yep. Not chunky enough. Wow. Damn, enough. you need fatter? She's fat right now. <laughs> yeah, but she's ugly too. Oh! <laughs> Rude. Rude. Oh, who's the character that used to say that in Full House? Was it Stephanie? How rude. But it's the truth. Do you think she's attractive? No. no. God, no. Not nowadays. She's a four. She's, yeah, uh, uh, she's below average. I agree. I agree. Like, like, seriously, like... She was about a six or a seven before that, though. Like, when she was fit, she had a cute face, which I don't I don't much care for. Like, for those of you wondering, I'm not terribly interested in women that are nine and tens. They're too fucking high maintenance. 
the, the pictures I saw before she got fat is what we call internet geek trophy wife. Yes. Yes. That's a good way to phrase it, actually. Because that's the type of woman you're sitting like, yeah, look what I scored. And then all of a sudden she gets fat and j- jumpy and, you know, then, then you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, never. It, it, the thing to remember with uh, women who are a little heavier is if they're that heavy now and they're working out, they're going to pull the pin on the fat grenade when they're comfortable with you. And most guys don't look ahead in that way. And they just like put a ring on, they put a ring on it and then it gets fat. And they're like, this isn't what I signed up for. Um, yes, it is. That's, that's, a, that's why there's a wedding cake at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it a wedding salad. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it just is what it is. Like, it's a, guys don't, if you see, like, extremely impulsive behaviors in your, in your mate, don't, don't marry it. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, don't marry it. That's going to end badly for you 10 times out of 10. Or you can just be happy that you both are like, ah, fuck it, let's just eat. (laughs) I mean, if you're both fatties at that point, like, sure, diet, diabetes, or heart stroke. You know, it's what, heart disease, rather. Well, it's just going to live 30 more years than you anyway, so, I mean, go out with a bang. Oh, hopefully not a literal bang, because she's crazy. No, no, more more like uh, happy, happy, you know, happy face, smiley, uh, last orgasm bang. Yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, you know, when I was at the beach, Jabba, there was uh, a, a coffee mug they were selling at uh, those places where it had two fat people, a male and a female, and their bellies rubbed together, and it said Mission Impossible. The greatest bum- coffee bum- mug ever. <laughs> Brian wants the bum bellies and bumper bellies. Ugh. So he, uh, he wants to become the living representation of the Ethan Ralph and A.C. Riley fight meme. Look, do you see what's in my hand? I'm good. I got my little pony in the jar, okay? Leave me be. Wow, no responses. It's because I'm, I, I'm not familiar that. with this meme. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. You're, you're about to find that. Okay, well, uh, lastly, I don't have time to explain because uh, it, it, we, we have to go through the depths of 4chan. Oh, dear. Yes. There it is. Oh, no. I br- No. Stop. Yes. No. no. Never no. stop. <laughs> Damn Never it. stop. Never surrender. Always Here share, we go. share the degenerate Here we memes. fucking go. Down the rabbit hole, everybody. Uh, no. Oh, all that. <laughs> okay, I-, I thought you were going to share the 4chan me. I'm sorry. And the context of this, for anyone that may not be aware, is that A.C. Riley, the producer for the uh, Dick Show, and Ethan Ralph, the retarded, uh, fat fucking retard who runs the kill stream, decided to get into a physical fight. <laughs> and when they did, their stomachs rubbed together. So some fucking absolute mad lad edited faces. <laughs> Onto their stomachs and made it look like their stomachs were making out. Can, can I can I just point out something? How fucked up this image is when people go to this uh, stream and they see the American flag on their left, they see a swastika on the right, and you got this in the fucking middle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh fuck. Anyway, it's getting close to eleven. I gotta. Hit the hay. You guys take it easy. Yeah. Have a nice night. <clears throat> yeah, you guys do. Later. I have to go to the bed also. It's five o'clock in the morning. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Four hours. Talk, talk, talk. How many hours uh, of sleep do you require before you'll be up and at them for tomorrow? Well, my, my day-night ry- rhythm is fucked up, so... <laughs> Maybe five to six hours. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> you're I'm, like I'm Heinrich. Night owl then, anyway, yeah. so 
you're like Einbrecht. You'll, you know, it's like you only need a few hours. You'll be up long before I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah and it's I don't almost like when I'm off it. those fucking ridiculous meds. I don't sleep for fucking 14 hours a day. Hmm. I fucking hate that shit. Fucking Prozac, dude. It's super bad for you. Well, I'm a, what I have a thyroid deficiency, so I take uh, meds for that, and they thyroid? make you active. So Do, thyroid, so, thyroid, so, so you thyroid. Have a thyroid issue. You have a hypothyr a hypothyroidism. Yeah, it's, hypo it's, is when it's uh, underproductive. Yeah, yeah, gonna, yeah. It's too low, and I take meds to get on the normal level. Yeah, that makes sense. My grandmother had hypo or hyper. I can't remember. Uh, it's uh, either or. They're not. A, it's not really an enjoyable experience. Mm. Yeah, you get fat mm -hmm. when you uh, don't do something against it. What is it that causes that? Uh. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Okay. Oh. My, my doc discovered it uh, through a blood um, analyzation and uh, random. Hmm. So, if it's a nutrient deficiency, then you need to order some <clears throat> iodine from InfoWars or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I'm glad that you could join us, Helmet, for yet another uh, Nazi theme stream. <laughs> yeah, no, uh... <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I'm glad he doesn't stream with us under his actual yeah. name. Yeah, <laughs> get him into trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, you didn't know uh, how much trouble I could get for that stuff. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm well aware. I've seen Germans get fucking arrested for some of this shit. It's retarded. Yeah, and and Eindracht knows how I look and what's my real name is. So, yeah, if you I, ever I disappear you and I just like can't contact, we can't contact you anymore. I'm gonna check on your Facebook and see if your family's posting shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's crazy so that uh, you know Germany is really kind of the same. Like, you just, I mean, the reasons why you'll get in trouble are different, but the getting in trouble part, <laughs> being put away for things that you shouldn't be put away for. That's kind of still there. Well, it's yeah. the, the one controversial part of our history um, where people get sensitive here. Mm. That's that's, well, the yeah, one, that's one thing. Even though it's majoritarily speaking, it wasn't really the Russians' fault. It or wasn't really the Germans' fault. It was the Russians' fault. The Germans took land from the Russians, and the death camps happened to be on that land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just what it is. The Russians were like, hmm, these are handy things. <laughs> <laughs> like, <it's> just... <clears throat> yeah, but, but uh, um, to defend Germany a little bit, it's only it's the only topic where we are oversensitive. You can mm -hmm. say in Germany, uh, just say that uh, men in uh, uh, female clothes are still men. Well, that's or, good. So, so you're, you're, just, you're like, better than Canada. <laughs> yeah, you're much better than Canada. <laughs> Fuck this country. I can legitimately, and I'm not joking when I say this or being hyperbolic. I will get up the exact fat uh, fine for transphobia in Canada. Let's see. Here we go. Where is the fine? I think it's upwards of like 25,000 Canadian. Fuck. Well, this Eva Elfie uh, girl seems attractive. Yes, Eva Elfie is very attractive. 30,000 in damages, up to. Fuck.
Yeah, yeah. he kicked those Romans' ass. Arminius is a pretty cool dude. I'm not familiar with that name. Hmm. Is Arminius one of the uh, German uh, barbarians from back in the day? Yeah, uh, maybe he was the guy who led the Germans uh, into the fight at the Teutoburger Forest against the Roman, uh, against a Roman army, and okay. uh, they uh, yeah. used ambush and guerrilla tactics and won those that that fight. Yep. <laughs> That's... Oh. One of the photo results for her is from a website called dailyjerking.com. <laughs> Zero. <Liliana surprise>. <laughs> no, 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 no. Eva Elfie. Yes. But yeah, there's a there's a lot of fucking hot porn chicks out there that you'll probably get a disease from fucking them, so be aware. But you can pay less to them than you would to those simps and not, uh, to the women you're simping for and not get sex from. You can pay substantially less to these porn women and actually get laid. Mm. They'll probably film it and put it online, but they'll keep your face out of it. But you can legitimately fuck these chicks, dude. If you're going to chase whores, at least chase the whores. They're going to suck you off. That's that's the luxury when, when you are into fat girls. You don't have to pay for uh, stuff like that or have an escort <laughs> or a hooker. Uh, you you can get those girls everywhere if you are kind and wash yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude man said correct. The Romans stopped trying to conquer them afterward. There were no prisoners. Yeah, yep. not surprising. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to stick with the uh, marriage only thing. I agree. I, I don't I don't agree with the degeneracy of just sleeping around, but I don't care if people do it because I'm ultimately a liberty minded person. It's almost like you can be a Christian and still respect people's liberty even if you don't agree with their choices. Hmm. But you know, don't let the fucking left fool you into thinking we're not bigots. I'm sure you can hear me rolling my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate that there's a lot of uh, websites that don't want you to look at a picture like for some reason it's okay for the search engine to find their picture and they don't get a bullshit you know no hot linking thing but then if you try to look at it it gives you the hot linking thing yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> All right, well, I guess we'll go ahead and end the stream. There's only one person watching. I guess that's Dude Man. Or YouTube is starting to be like Twitch and not giving us an accurate count. Certainly possible. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time uh, YouTube's... Uh... Oh, now it says to. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, and now, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, um, so if you're up for it tomorrow, helmet, we'll we'll do this again. I don't know yes. if we'll do it for quite as long a period yeah. of time, but <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh all right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.